Are we live? Yeah. Are we good? Are we, we in the building? The Are we on the air? That's oh, I crazy. I miss that so much. From where? Who that? Uh, Wild and Out. Wait, did you? Wait, wait, oh, I wish I didn't say Wild and Out. Because I want to know if you I was really... going to say Nick Cannon. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> the original season, though, yeah, not, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. not the reboot. For sure, for sure. You live? I Hello. think we may be live. What's going on, Need to Know Podcast family? We are back with another episode of the Need to Know Podcast. Um, a very, very special edition today, in my mm-hmm. opinion. As y'all know, I come on this podcast every single week and I lie. <laughs> and, and that's the problem. No, proudly, too. I'm about to start getting no, at you. No, for real. One of the biggest lies that I'll be telling on this podcast is that I don't fuck with music. And Alex, you always check me, Thanks. as you should. Yeah, my course. brother, my you're guy. supposed to check me. Of course, I fuck with music. Mm-hmm. But... I know my place, right? I know my level of education and understanding. And today, I'm happy to be the outlier. <laughs> I am you are no, I'm so yeah. outnumbered. I know my role. I know my place. And I can't wait to get into it again. If you're new to the podcast, please make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. Keep killing us in the comments. Um, it helps the algorithm. It Salute. helps the engagement. And we appreciate it. Oh, yes. But... Um, before we even get into everything, I go by the name Savon, S-A-V-O, ha, <laughs> <laughs> S-A-V-O, S to the A-V, however you want to slice it up, yeah. it's your guy Savon in the building, oh and I'm accompanied by my brother, man. Hey, y'all, that's our in-house Jada kids, if you didn't know. <laughs> no, no, that's, that's the fan flow, that's the fan flow. <laughs> What's good, Josh, your boy, A, as always, the Paco Ramon Poppy, never alone, always with the posse. Hi guys, it's me, Reggie. I feel extra blessed to be here. And I'm just, I just want to say, I'm so proud of you, Savon, because I don't know if you know, but he's very shy about that intro. He gets a little like bashful, but yeah. I'm so proud of you for doing that um, in front of company because we have a very special guest to my left. If you're watching on our YouTube, you already see him, but if you're audio, here he is. Um, here are the special guests. We have Loki to my left. You have seen him all over your social media yeah. with his music hot takes yeah. as he really has a talent for getting the people going yes, I do. throughout the years. He's a veteran at this, although his yeah. resume is very long. Yeah. Currently, he's a co-host of Apple Music's Rap Life with Ebro. Mm-hmm. He's also on the Say Less podcast with Kaz, Loki, and Rosie. Yes. He's the epitome of having an entrepreneurial spirit. We're so excited to have him and discuss hip hop more. Everything happened this week. He's mm-hmm. He picked a perfect week to be available. <laughs> Uh, Loki, sure. welcome yeah. to the show. Thank you, Thank you for that intro. I appreciate Long that. Welcome, welcome. 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 What's good? What's hey, good? let me tell y'all something, man. You What's haven't sure? made it in life until you walk up in the spot. Mm-hmm. And when you walk up in the spot, you look to the back and your name is it's arranged in lights in a corner. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, if you go somewhere uptown right now, you can no, find. No, no, it, oh, I don't oh, think it's oh, uptown. Oh, See, hold, 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 hold up, hold up. Oh, fact it's check, LES. Check, my yeah, fourth LES. LES. Low yes, LES. Yeah, low east side. Low east side. Low, okay. low, low key. key. Low key. Low key. Low key. You get what I'm saying? Low. Alex, come on. You got to stay consistent. Right? It's not up. It's low. It's low. My fault. So it's low, not up. The spot that he's referring to is a hookah spot I've been going going to for years. They're the first hookah spot in New York City. They call Sahara East. Is on 184 yes. First Ave. I brought a lot of people over there from wow. Lotto, G Easy, Jermaine Dupree. Just coming in there smoking. Their food is great. We play our own music. You know what I mean? Ooh. We just been there chilling. It's a good time. I would love for all y'all to come over there and just sure. enjoh oh, night. A hoop- oh, we've been. That's yeah. how I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We've been a, as a oh, family. We, we, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, we've been there. We've been there like the three for of us sure. together. Yeah. Oh, we yeah. Ain't nobody ain't nobody say nothing. Nah, you was yeah. there. You was, was there. You was just holding the corner there. Oh. <laughs> you was holding the corner there. That's, yeah. that's, 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 that's a spot. I've had many a nights yeah. in that corner. Uh, <laughs> no, no, like, no, no. like, damn, how I get there? <laughs> Wait, Let me save him from him. Let me save him from you. I've had many a nights. Nah, yeah, you're supposed to. That's 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 the that's the corner where you know. You have musical discussions. Yes. You got yeah. relationship conversations. You got For niggas sure. snapping on each other. Sure. You got niggas celebrating birthdays mm-hmm. and you know all types of fun, cool shit. Like I'm actually doing something new mm. that I just started like this past weekend. It's called Impromptu with Low. Okay. Ooh. And so I'll call somebody up on like IG Live and have mm-hmm. like a 15 minute conversation. So I think okay. I'm. Already, I did like seven of them already. I had G Easy, Trade right. the Truth, oh um, man, Adi from uh, Toronto. Uh, Miss Milan, she mm-hmm. called. Oh, she, yeah, she called Salute in my nigga Kaz. So it's just me talking to them for about fifteen minutes about you know not giving them no prep. Mm-hmm. 
That's why we call it impromptu or low. Okay. And I did about four or five on Sunday, like just back to back. From the hookah spot? Right from, from the corner. <laughs> from, from the corner? If you go on my Yo, page, if you go on my page right now, you, oh, like, you oh I got me. Nick Grant as well. Shop if you go on my page, Grant. you'll see like the, the conversations are up there. Yeah. Wait, so do you warn them at least? Or you just I'll call be like, them? Yo, no, I'll be like, yo, you got 15 minutes. Oh, okay. Oh. And they be like, yo, for oh. what? I'm like, yo, just jump on live with me real quick. Yeah. You know, so we're going to talk it up. They be like, all right. Because they trust it. me. Do you you got the sign in the background? Yep. Sign in the background. Yeah. the red sign in the background. I'm not going to lie. So there's a few benchmarks in life where I'm like, I need to get there. Right. <laughs> when I walk into the hookah spot on a Friday night sure. and all the baddies is walking through and I see one man, not the DJ, but a nigga in the corner mm -hmm. with a hookah in the aux, yeah. I knew there was levels to this shit. Oh my I God, you're, you. like, you're like ghosts. Well, no, <laughs> not for you. <laughs> like you're, you're like in the balcony. Like When I went there, I was so scared because I didn't know if I was allowed to sit there. No, nah, yeah, like. Because that's not my name. That, But that's the thing, like, <laughs> if, I, like if, if I'm not there or whatever the case is, like, like somebody like you know shout out to my man Ahmed and Kareem and uh, George they might call me they'd be like yo you coming tonight and yeah. I might be like yeah I'm coming later or I'm not coming tonight or whatever the case is they'd be like oh well because we want you know somebody wants to sit here I'm like alright yo go ahead like they yeah, they yeah, still yeah. pay oh, because they asked before yeah. they can no, sit because, there no because like that's, that's what I said like and it's, so, it's no disrespect oh, I, I but at the it. same time it's like bro that's like hard. they're paying customers so the longer mm -hmm. they sit there and the longer they enjoy the light and yeah, mm -hmm. playing music like sometimes some of the customers will play music but yeah. like the more you give them not entitlement but more you give them like yo okay this is tonight this is your corner yeah. you know make them saying? feel comfortable yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that, you, so you want them to feel comfortable and if it's packed and I come in I'll, all right, I'll sit off to the side like yeah. I don't need you nobody for sure move. for sure one time I did <laughs> just one, it's one okay, time it's just okay. I only did it I only did it because <laughs> it was Sunday and it was I was watching the Giants okay oh, and okay. I was like that's a good reason I, I, yeah. didn't, I didn't say it to them I told you he people told, you I told, told, I'm like, yo, he told you people you gotta go did you watch this past Sunday yeah that that was I ain't, like, I ain't like that. I ain't like that. The, I, ain't the like, I, ain't, I ain't like the yeah, the uniforms. Suck. I ain't like yo, the, I ain't like that shape. I, I like the uniforms. <laughs> Reggie, what? so Reggie hit the chat like, yo, wait, 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 what? What, you what is this bullshit? He said he liked the uniforms. I like the Giants, the Giants yeah. uniforms. The, the, like, the, the thought, helmets, the, like, that shit is atrocious. And the beige pants. The only thing yeah, I, the beige pants. <laughs> I, this like the fifties or some shit. I didn't like the pants. <laughs> nah, bro. I didn't dude. like the pants. That's why they got ass asked twenty eight to six. No, that was gonna happen no matter what they wore. They could have been, they could have been butt ass naked. They could have wore white jerseys. They could have did. Anything in the Tell if they didn't have Patrick Mahomes, they'd probably go get their ass with. I ain't gonna lie, bro. You could come join us down the block though at the Jets facility. I mean, in the same facility. <laughs> Man, we good. All right, no. Jets one. Hmm? Jets one. Hmm? Yeah, see, <laughs> no, they do. They do. You heard them. You heard them. Did they win? Nah. Oh, all right, then yeah, keep that over there. Yeah. <laughs> that keep, that, okay. keep that over there. I just have a question. I just have a question. I'm sorry, like I'm not a sports expert, but oh, I might right. get killed for this. So right. this interaction re reminded me of like you know how Knicks fans are very, very, very proud and yeah. they talk. so so much shit. Yep. But then it's like, I'm just confused because it's like, are the Knicks like good? Well, the Knicks like, like all right, for I one. Remember in re not in recent years, but no, you know, when they were really bad, what do people, what do you say no, as a Knicks like, fan when what, people are, you know? The Knicks, the Knicks, Knicks fans are like the, the girlfriend that keeps getting cheated on. <laughs> and just and just thinks that her boyfriend <laughs> yeah. is going to tighten up, shape up. One day. Okay. One, one day, day girl. That's what the fucking Knicks are. But now, they're actually a very, very good Eastern Conference team. They made okay. it to the yeah. second round last Finally. year, I believe. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. they pick up they picked up some really, really good pieces off uh off season. Yeah. And you know, fucking Jalen Bronson, now he's the captain of the team and mm -hmm. the city loves him to death. Yeah. Has, he been, ha, has he been to the corner yet? Nah, not yet. He ain't been there. See, not that's yet. gonna take them over the hump. Yeah, yeah, that's that's gonna take them over the hump. That would be magical. I, heard, I don't know. See, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want them niggas at that spot and they got a game like two days later. So he was like, they was, they was smoking hookah with low. But and, the, uh, gonna, like, I set them up because I fucking hate the Knicks. But shout out to my guy Kaz because he loves the Knicks. Uh, for sure. Knicks ambassador. He did uh, the shit at Fanatics Fest where mm -hmm. he hosts that panel with Ben Stiller, Clyde Fraser, Spike Lee, Jalen, and uh, Josh, and he's just the Nick flag he holder. Is. He is. So he shout is. out to my guy, Kaz. For sure. Always shout out to Kaz. I, 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 I rock with Kaz. I rock with everything that y'all doing, honestly. Appreciate like, it. everything Appreciate that you're doing. Like, I don't know about you, but in this space in particular, like, yeah. we all see everything. We right, all course. connected of by course. somebody, some way. You know of what I'm course. saying? So shout out to everything that you're doing. Before Appreciate we that. get into, like, the music Appreciate and everything, though, uh -huh. I do have a question. For me because, or for the... No, just for you. Oh, okay. This is just for you. You're the only person with this name. Okay. I've been seeing your name on the timeline for years. Mm -hmm. I've I've partied amongst you for years, mm -hmm. right? Like I know what it is that you do. You have left your imprint on this city, mm -hmm. on this culture. And so for you to even be here is definitely an honor. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. but I've always wondered how did you get your name, low key? Um, so it started I went to Howard University, right? And uh I used to make beats. 
Okay. Fire. I used to make beats, right? So I had my little Reason program, and I had Fruity Loops and all that other shit. FL, baby. Yeah. So then what I did was I would wear my uh, my dorm keys around my neck. Okay. Right? Because I'm clumsy. I lose shit all the time. Mm-hmm. So I had my dorm keys around my neck. Then I got into, you know, the production show, beat making shit, because I'm not a producer. That's it's two different things. That's two different things. Niggas okay. that make beats and niggas that are producers are not the same person. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I was, you know, making beats, making beats. I couldn't read music. I couldn't play the piano. So I just thought, okay, let me call myself Keys. Right? Okay. And so for the- Like Alicia. Yeah, but just with a Z, but just with a Z. Uh, so like, the next thing, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm all for, like, I mean, like, yeah, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. I get it. Uh, like Alicia, yeah, like, yeah, yes, Savon, like Alicia, <laughs> yes. Like, thank you for that help. Thank you, thank Captain you. Obvious. <laughs> um, but nah, so yeah, I made I made beats for a couple years. Yeah. Um, I actually got on the radio in DC Ooh. on ninety three point nine. Um, I was part of a production crew called Weapons of Mass Production. Okay. So like this is uh, one of my homeboys. He went to George, not Georgetown, but American University in in DC, and he, you know, I linked with him, and then you know we developed our friendship, whatever the case is. So when I graduated, all that beat making shit had to stop because my computer kept getting heated up, and I had to buy new hard drives. The and worst. Lose. I'm so I'm just like, all right, the worst. fuck it. Aww. So I get out of school. I graduate Howard in like 2006, spring of 2006, and I come up with this website called You Heard That New. Okay. Right. Uh, this is like blog era. This is blog. This is blog era. This is time. like the, the, the peak the, blog era. Yeah. No, this is when it started. Like we, started. yeah, this is not even peak yet because no one knows what the fuck a blog is. Okay. So now, like, I have all these relationships with DJs, like from Clue to Envy, Big Mike, Tape Masters Inks, DJ Drama. The list goes on and on, right? So now I'm getting records from these guys. Mm-hmm. They're leaking records to me because they don't want to put it out themselves, or they're trying to labels or managers are testing out. Like, yo, don't yeah. you didn't get this from me? You didn't get this from me. Yeah. So the more I was doing that, and my site was known for leaking shit, I kind of changed my name to. I took the Z off and just added low key because I didn't want no one to know it was me. Mm. So they, they didn't see my face. Because you would put the records I, yeah, out I'm low the key. Record, yeah, like, I'm no, Yo, but, this is the best origin story I've ever heard. Yeah, right? but like, it's niggas, like, so like, I'm, I'm in like my mom basement, you know, yeah. working at a hotel, uploading music from the front desk. I was a front desk supervisor. So like, I log in to my blog while I'm at the front desk and I'm loading up all these new exclusive records, but I'm calling myself low key because I'm not in New York City. So mm. I'm not in the industry per se where, where are I'm, you at the time i'm i'm just getting out of school living in jersey, living in went, jersey. moved back to my parents house got you and they my mother would call god bless her soul my mom called me the boy in the basement because <laughs> i was just in the, i was just in the basement blogging 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 and they had no idea what none of that shit was no yeah. so Absolutely. i'm doing all that and then i start this in 2000 yeah when i graduate 2006 and then i get a call from bet to be a music journalist based off of my website and everything that I was doing. So they found you. You wasn't that low. Kim Osorio. Shout out to Kim Osorio. Oh my God. Editor in chief of, the, of, of wow. the source. She gave me a call one day. She was like, yo, what are you thinking about being a music journalist mm-hmm. or staff writer for BET.com? I was a bellman. I remember I got the phone call. I took my break. It was at the Heldridge Hotel in New Brunswick. Mm-hmm. And she calls me. She was like, yo, you down to come over? And I just got this new position. They're looking for writers. You want to give it a shot? I said, yeah. fuck yeah. For sure. All it takes is one not? call. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I would keep taking in these yeah. luggage. For and sure. that was like, that was like my introduction to the music industry officially got like, it. in New York and all the other shit. So what I, a dope ass oh way to like yeah. have a, a, a nickname birth and then have it follow you and it yeah. just be so true to yeah. like your origin. Like me, I'm too far in the game. I can't do a nickname. Yeah. It's over, right? Yeah, like, like it's just, yeah. it, it is what it is. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. for your, your nickname to kind of be a part of your journey, that's dope. Yeah, that's I mean, dope. like I now- I wonder like, what the, what yeah, the, what now the, the now, it's, now, it's, now it's just low. Like, yeah, yeah, I kind of yeah, took yeah, the key off, but like, yeah. I mean, unless we in the corner. <laughs> yeah. Other than, other than that, now it's just, it's just like low. It's just low. Yeah, it's just that's low. what's up, yeah. that's what's up. Yeah. Oh my God, that just made me a little, not to be too dramatic, but that made me like a little emotional, like hearing you say that, cause like, that's just really how it used to be. Like, oh, yeah, you get yeah, music from yeah. artists. Yep. Like, no one paid for it. Yep. Like, you're not allowed to pay for it. You're nope. supposed. You're, you just share it for the love of the music. Like how DJs used to be the one to break records, yep. yeah. and bloggers used to be. And I'm just like, oh my god. Like, organic. it's not like that anymore. It's yeah, really not, I mean, like, I remember. I, I also had an internship at uh, at Bad Boy. Okay. Um, okay. I was. Uh, okay. okay. I was Wait, home, I was homeboys executive up, assistant. Oh, oh, <laughs> you was the assistant. Yeah. Up, uh-huh. But I ain't seen no. I ain't, oh, no, nah, I, 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 I wasn't. I, ain't, I wasn't nowhere. I, I'm. Oh, I don't know if I should be telling this, but 
No, I was like his executive assistant, like junior executive assistant. Comes so, with a lot of responsibility. Yeah, a little responsibility. A lot of, a lot but of pressure. I never, we was, I was never at those parties. They yeah. kept it, it was, business. It was kept the business. For sure, yeah. for sure. So then like when Mace first came back, I think it was Mace's second return album or mm -hmm. that the, the Harlem World joint. Mm -hmm. um, oh, no, I'm sorry. Welcome back. Mm -hmm. My boy Derek, who used to rap and go to Howard with me, he worked in the A&R department. He he saw like the early version of Welcome Back on one of the A and R's desk, mm -hmm. snatched it and gave it to me. Wow. Like so oh, I got a lot wow. of like thievery stories <laughs> with music and shit I wasn't supposed oh, so to have. You was the person that everybody created like anti theft for. Yeah, that's low. Like teeth. you was the was reason, like, yeah. Yeah. you was the yeah. reason why I had water all like that's of why I like the water marks. Water. Everybody yeah. has the water yeah. marks. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that's yeah. crazy. Oh, okay, and the last story before no, let's get know, it. We love stories, though. Um, there's a rule that the no camera phone rule, right? And this started when I was in. This was I was like working at BT. This is the open house for Def Jam. This is like spring, oh nine, oh ten, whatever. They're debuting records from and videos from Fab. I think that's the. What's the Throw record? It in the bag. Yeah, what, what album is it? That's uh, not what? not uh, not Street Dreams. Not is Street it Dreams. not? Uh, I can see the cover. I can see the cover. It has, yeah, it's, his, it's, his, it's, his face, it's his face yeah, on yeah, it, yeah. and it's like it's a bridge in the black. Back. Yeah, it's a black cover. So it's, I know it's, it's yeah, it's that Let's album. That it's that album. It's Kanye's 808s. from Nothing to Something. Loso's way. Loso's way. Loso's way. Loso's way. Loso's way. Loso's way. Uh, so it's that. This is when Rihanna first starts to you know reemerge. You know, visually. So 808s is coming out. Uh, Kanye and T Pain have that record together. Good Damn. life. No, no, not good life. Not good life. Um, Superman. No. Uh, shit. Anyway, anyone they know, they know what the record is. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm I'm working at the BET, and my boss invites me. He's like, "Yo, we're gonna go to this this open house. It's Def Jam. They're about to play so many new records and new videos. Yeah. Come." I'm like, "All right, fuck it. You know, it's open bar. This, that, and the third. Right. So I'm sitting literally in the front row. And I think it's like uh, L.A. Reid is introducing all of these songs and these videos and these albums. I think this is when Justin Bieber kind of had Baby, uh, Baby, Baby, mm -hmm. has that record. So like Def Jam is like just unloading shit to us. That was a time. That was a That's time. my favorite era of music. So now you. I'm like, okay, cool. My boss is like, yo, bring your flip phone. Okay. Remember the flip phones? Like the yeah. little yeah. black girl. Yeah, Shout out so to the Nokia users. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I'm in the front row. And the flip phone, like if, you, if you're looking at it from this way, it has this big ass red light, so you know they're re somebody's oh, recording. Oh. Yes, so about I'm recording every video that they're that they're playing. <laughs> but you gotta think, I'm ten, I'm about ten feet away from La Reid as he's introducing all of these fucking records. Yeah, so I'm right. doing this, doing this, doing this, doing this, and I tell my boss Renee Nameless because I don't want to put nobody in no fire. For sure. They like yo. I'm like, yo, I got everything. I got everything. Like, go home, go, go to the office and upload the shit. Oh my god. Because I had a blog that they called we we called it Sound Off. And Sound okay. Off was like my personal blog that, you know, I could do my little industry shit and put mm -hmm. records up and yeah. just get my little editorials, whatever. Sure. So I go to I go to go to the office back on it was on 57th and 10th. Go to the office, I upload all of this shit. Mm. Video after video after video after video after video. And it probably video. took Matt long. It's yep. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I left the shit early too because at that time I lived in Jersey, so I had to be on the bus by one o'clock to get home. Yeah. So I'm in the office at like eleven thirty, just just trying to upload everything. I get everything off. I'm like, oh yes, my name is good. This is ten third. Wake up the next day on my way to work. Come into the city. I get a phone call from Gabe. Gabe is the vice president of publicity. At the time, at Def Jam, okay. this man calls me. What the fuck? Mad I invited up. you to this event and you did this bullshit. How the fuck? There'll be no more Def Jam artists at BET. We're gonna ban you. Ooh, this, th yo, like I'm damn. getting ringed out. Like they <laughs> calling me like three or four. He's calling me like three, or four times. Just like, bro, going crazy. So I'm like, at the time, I'm not thinking how important it is. I'm like, right. man, nah, I got my shit off because I'm coming from the blog era. So mm -hmm. like the first, our biggest thing was being first. Yeah. yeah. I had to have that record up before mm -hmm. SK. Yep. I had to have that record up before Two Dope Two Boys. Dope Boys. Yeah. Yeah. Then when Rap yeah. Radar came in mm -hmm. or OK yeah. Play or Ill Roots, like mm -hmm. we were all competing with each other. For so sure. I, had, we ha I had to have that up. 
So I beat everybody because I was there. So then I get to the office and I'm walking in. And my homegirl who sits, she, was, she sat adjacent to me. She was on YBF. Remember mm -hmm. YBF and mm -hmm. Concrete Loop and mm -hmm. Nicole Bitchy and mm -hmm. SOHH. She's watching these videos. I'm like, yo, wait. Because she don't know about my blog. Yeah, she just yeah. know that, oh, he's a writer. He's just, you know, drinking and he ain't worried. I ain't worried about him. <laughs> I'm like, yo, where, I'm like, where are you watching these videos at? Yeah. She was like, oh, it's on YBF. I'm like, fuck. And I got it. Gotcha. Like, yeah, but I got, got but I, gotcha. I'm like, they got, so like, <laughs> Nah Wright had it, SOHH had it, all hip hop, mm -hmm. everybody snatched all those videos. Which was the video in particular? Like, what's it the was, one that it was, out? Uh, I think it was, a, it was a record from Fab's album with Jeremiah. Okay. okay. There was that video. It was the eight, one of the 88 videos where Rihanna was in it. Mm -hmm. I think it was the Justin Bieber. Big budget. Big, like big, they, 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 they had all these videos, videos. Like yeah, this yeah, is the yeah, spring yeah. summer. Like For they sure. getting ready to go. Yeah. Wow. yeah. And here I go. Just okay. Here's crazy. one. Yeah. Here's two. Because there wasn't here's any three. Instagram. There, wasn't there was nothing. Like that there was that nothing. Yeah. And I'm at the actual event, and I'm mm -hmm. like, Yo, bro, this is what they're about to do. Yeah. And they're like, You ruined our rollout. I'm like, First off, you ain't lose no money. The videos is already shot. These albums are already done. I'm just giving the world a preview of what y'all got coming. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Because you got all these like industry insiders, stuffy motherfuckers like that don't know how to articulate or talk about what mm -hmm. they just saw. So I'm yeah. like, nah, here, here's, mm -hmm. here's what's fucking coming. Mm -hmm. They banned me from Dev Jam events for six months after that. Sheesh. Damn, Honestly, yeah. that's not six that months. long. Six months. It's, I mean, like, but, you know but it's not, and, it, and when you're doing stuff like that at that time, oh, and there's, there's, there's there. industry, there's events every other night. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now from like one of the biggest labels in the game says, all right, you're, you're on the bench for six months. Mm -hmm. You're like, damn. It's like, fuck. I, I, yeah. No, that's you, bro. No, I'm, really, I'm, I'm glad that you're here because a lot of the things and the people that we're going to cover today is from that era, mm -hmm. from the blog era. Yeah. But before we even kind of dive into that, I'm curious to know like your thoughts on the transition from the blog era to where we are today. I was just about to ask, now, let me add to what you're saying, right? Mm -hmm. don't, do, don't you feel like people cared more about music in that era as opposed to now? I do these new blogs for music every Friday, mm -hmm. and I'm seeing that there are less and less people as hype as I am when it comes to new music. Mm -hmm. I think streaming has to do a lot with it. I think what it was or what it is is it's so much to consume. It's so much to to discover. It's so and it's sometimes you just don't know where to pick apart from. Like you don't know where. Like all right, it, it could be Apple or it could be Tidal, but then like those the curations of the playlists and how you mm -hmm. discover new music and how you discover it's like that. That interface, just period, for anybody is hard as fuck to, to yeah. you know, maneuver through. Yeah. When it was us, when we was doing it, you knew if, like, you was on Concrete Loop or Nicole Bitchy, you was probably gonna get some fire-ass R&B, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You knew when you was on Not Right or Two Dope Boys, you about to get some crazy fire-ass underground, underground shit, yeah. tough yeah. shit. You knew you was on my site, you was about to get some new exclusive shit that I wasn't supposed to have, or it might have been mm -hmm. from your favorite artist that I got, mm -hmm. you know, unknowingly. Yeah. Like, but you knew the yeah. sectors of where to yeah, go yeah. to get mm -hmm. what you wanted. For sure, mm -hmm. for sure. Now it's just like, all right, here, every Friday it's about 200,000, yeah. mm -hmm. and I don't even know what to... Yeah. So now with me, I'm just like, I know what I want, where I want, and how I want it. Fortunately, I'm in the ecosystem of Apple, so I know how things work a little bit. But for mm -hmm. the actual consumer, it's just so fucking much. Yeah, mm -hmm. you feel what I'm saying? So, so. On, on a random Friday, when all these releases get announced, Alex he drops his post. Everybody's kind of deciphering what it is that they want to listen to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you decide? All right, this is who I'm going to listen to first. Yeah. This is the project that I may not know, but I want to get to know. Like, but all the shit that's coming out because I always tell, say we're in the content game, yeah. right? Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. We are fighting. If you have a podcast, if you are an yep. artist, if you are a content creator, yep. TikTok, yep. whatever platform it is, we're all competing. Fighting, right? We're right. fighting for somebody's time and attention, yeah. which is why I am uber grateful for anybody who listens to this podcast because you could be less. literally doing anything else in the world, yeah. and not only that, the market is inflated right now. Crazy the super. big dogs is here. Yeah, Crazy. Travis Kelsey just got a hundred million dollar mil, deal. Mil, you get what I'm saying? Oh, like yeah, yeah. It, it, it's over for like that era. We're in a, a whole new phase. So mm. for somebody like yourself, somebody who's super tapped in, mm. somebody who's super knowledgeable, mm. like how do you open your app on a Friday and say, "This is what I'm going to listen to. This is how I'm going to kind of go about my consumption." Nine times out of ten, I probably already have it. 
Okay. Ooh. I low key flex. You know, Mike, you know, Mike, Mike, you know, you know Mike, the fucked up thing about <laughs> setting up a question. <laughs> I'm like, wait, hold on. I'm trying to he set up a question. He's like, nah. That nigga said, hold up. I got you. I had it already. Listen, and I, this, is not no, this is not no indictment. This is not no indictment on, like, because I work for Apple. Yeah. And no, I, it's not, it ain't coming from there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I got a group chat of a bunch of, like, young niggas that are tapped in with, like, everything. The hacking and or just getting shit early. So yeah. like yeah. nine times out of ten, I'll have that record about Wednesday morning, Wednesday night. Mm, got it. Mm. So it's a little bit your process is different than And then yeah, and that the gives average. me a little bit like, all right, cool. Like I'm a I'm gonna listen to this and if I fuck with it, I'm gonna make sure niggas know about it. Yeah. I'm gonna put it on my IG or I'm gonna put it on Twitter. Like, show yo, this record's love. hard and show some love to it. Mm-hmm. But yeah, nine times out of ten, I I pretty much already have that album or that single or whatever mm-hmm. it is. So you had uh Big Sean's album ahead of time. Even though it was leaked. a lot, of, a lot of people did. Okay. Because like I remember, remember when they leaked. Yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Did, did, did you care about the leak? That's another thing I don't care about anymore. Like I, I remember I, in the blog era, I genuinely cared. Now I, I just want to finish. The I was product. excited because yeah. you know he was talking so highly about it, and we hadn't heard from him in a long time. So, right. in 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 the nature that I'm still who I am, like I still want records early. I still want gotcha. to hear what the fuck. Y'all haven't heard yet, even if it's not perfect yet. Yeah, but like I only listened to it like maybe once or twice. Got you. Because we, he was like, "All right, shit, this is not done. It's not ready. Mm-hmm. This and the third. So I didn't want to lend an ear to it and try to publicly cr- critique it. Yeah. Do you feel guilty ever about what? About getting somebody's R I P ahead of time, listening to it, or uh, even back then when you was leaking the shit. And again, I get it. You hungry? You doing your thing? Journalist, artist. No, no, no. Back then, yeah, back then, back then, back then I didn't feel guilty. And yeah, honestly, yeah. I I see that 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 is the spirit of a true journalist, ladies and gentlemen. Like he really just had the scoop and had to get it out to the people that mm-hmm. needed to know. Right. So I, I feel you. No, I would. <laughs> I would get. Um, I would get phone calls or texts or whatever, and people would allude to like, "I know you got it." <laughs> like don't just don't just don't no. post it. I know you got it. Yeah, if uh, I'm like that, th- those were those were a lot of conversations. Yeah. Bad, like like bro, I know you. Just please don't. Yeah, <laughs> like you can That's talk power. about it. You That's can power. Like, you can talk yeah, about it, but please like but please don't. So I am bad like, at that. I, I got you. Yeah. It's got funny. You. So before you came into the studio, right? Yeah, we had this run a show, and we're still gonna get to everything that we That's do want to talk about. Talk about. I I know, know. Yeah, but right. now that. Like I'm listening and understanding mm-hmm. your journey a little bit more because again, I know you from Twitter. Mm-hmm. I know you from going to the hookah spot and mm-hmm. seeing you posted up the cool nigga in the corner that always dapped me up. I don't know if he remembers who I am, <laughs> but the nigga who dapped me up every time. So it, it was, it it's was, it, it's always like it's a funny thing because me, and my um, my homeboy were talking about this the other day. Like he'll be like, "Yo, people come in here." Yeah. And say what's up to you and like have convos with you and you just like you just looking like you know who they are, you remember them. <laughs> he was like, Yo, honestly, like do you remember half the people? I'm like, no. It, and I, oh, I thought I was on that list. No, I know. I, 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 we didn't, we didn't, have, we didn't have a relationship. <laughs> For sure, yeah, but yeah, I yeah. knew who you were. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Sure. I knew who you were, and yeah. that's, and that's, and but that's, that was one you of the main reasons. No, I swear. I, I, swear, I, swear I thought that was a nice way to tell me. Yeah, I don't remember you. No, I will tell. No, I will tell my shit off. I will tell motherfuckers like, yeah, I don't, I just don't remember. But like, yo, what's up? Like, yo, yo, if you want to sit and have a drink or whatever. But I do remember you. I understand. You're Savon, like yeah, come on, yeah, like, yeah, I, I, right. yeah. So it's like, I don't know if you knew who I was. Oh, so it was just like, oh, yo, because like that's how I met a lot of motherfuckers in there, where sure. they just like they look and they just like sometimes when you look at a nigga mm-hmm. and it's like you don't want it to be awkward, so <laughs> some, somebody will stick out their hand and yeah. they like, and then that becomes a friendship for after sure, for sure. So that yeah, I don't ever want because I know people watch rap life and I know yeah. people watch yeah. my Twitter and I know people see me on Instagram and the shit, the cool shit that I do. So they be like, yo, ain't you? Mm-hmm. And it's like, yeah, yo, mm-hmm. yo, thank you for watching. Like, yeah, yo, we, we fuck with your shit. And yeah, yeah, yeah. yo, you're funny as hell on Twitter. Or yo, I disagree with what you said on rap. Yeah. Like, like it, yeah. I get all of that. All, all, all different all angles. It's crazy yeah. because, so obviously I met you in your spot, your corner. Yeah. Um, But going back a little bit, right? Uh, do say Palooza. Yes. A time, yeah. an era. Yeah. Just like the blog era, yeah. that was a whole era. Yeah. Obviously, um, I think a lot of the people that I met, was through my affiliation and working with the Joe Budden podcast yes. and obviously the old iteration. But I know you got a relationship uh, with Rory, right? Yes, Rory's one of my guys. You mentioned Kaz a little bit earlier. Best friend. Rory and, Rory and Kaz, both my best For friends. For sure. Yeah. And and I only mentioned them in the vein of it feels like the Duce Palooza crew, a lot of y'all have become that next generation's 
almost tastemakers. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, we all, we know about the Charlemagne's, the Joe Buttons, the Flexes. Like, that was that generation's yeah. that. And, and, but, and still now. And, and they still, still are. Still you know what I'm saying? Like, now. when you're in that position. You, you're not going to lose it. You're not going to lose it right, until you right. want right. to uh, yeah. relinquish that yeah, shit, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there has been a, another layer to that. Right. And for me, as somebody who's tapped into the culture. Of course. Um, it was y'all. Yeah. It was y'all. And now to kind of see y'all all do y'all own different things. Like, tell me, how did y'all kind of create that? What was your introduction to each other? Because it's crazy to see y'all still sustain, you know, y'all positions in this space, even though Duce Palooza doesn't exist. Right, right, right. But Low Key still exists. Yeah, yeah. Cass still exists. Cam still exists. Roy Cam still exists. Roy still exists. Cass, like, yeah, the, all, the whole yeah, yeah. movement was a Bruno, thing. Raven, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Peach. For sure. What an era. Like, uh, for the people who, I mean, I know you guys are countrywide, worldwide, but like, for people who didn't live through that in yeah, New York, yeah. guys, people, for the listeners, like people will talk about Duce Palooza era, like yeah, no. yo, like you it know when like there's a camp, there's like a campfire, right, right, right. and like you tell the kids <laughs> yeah. like gather around, kids. Because the dope like, part yo. about it is you guys incorporated music with Duce Palooza, yep. right? Like, hey, we're gonna bring an artist. Yeah, you guys are gonna party still. Yeah, and you are gonna feel like you was at a concert. And it started as Henny Palooza. Yeah, right. Yeah, and for yeah, all yeah, the hood yeah. niggas back, everybody <laughs> needed to go to Henny Palooza because nah, they just yeah, heard Henny Palooza. Like, this is Henny Palooza. But then these motherfuckers <laughs> was ahead of the curve and say, you know what? Yeah. yeah, Henny ain't really doing what they supposed to be doing. Facts. Let's make this an actual thing that makes sense for us in the culture. I right. mean, you know, there's so many different directions and so many great questions y'all asked about you know, both entities mm -hmm. and people involved with those entities. But as, um, as someone that was there from day one, this wasn't, we didn't plan it for, for it to be this. Mm -hmm. We was broke and it was New Year's Eve and we couldn't go nowhere because the niggas didn't have no money. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it was at Cam apartment on 116th and Pleasant East side. And he was like, yo, we just going to throw a basement party. And he was like, yo, the only requirements is bring a bottle of Hennessy or some chicken. The most niggified shit, but it, <laughs> it worked. <laughs> Had the blind wrapped around the block. That's the fire. Kentucky Fried, Undeniable whatever. Undeniable combo. Yeah. Undeniable. That's the fire. Kentucky Fried uh, chicken spot down the block. They ran out of chicken because oh. niggas was running back and forth, mm -hmm. getting chicken, getting chicken, getting chicken. And we just... We <laughs> Wait, I didn't know... I'm sorry. I didn't know you meant like literally chicken. No, fried, fried chicken. Like chicken, chicken. Oh, 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 yeah. I was like, oh, yeah. No, Pan, that's how I know she's from Jersey, Pultry. New York. Yeah. She said getting chicken was money. Bro, we don't just, I was like, like a bottle wait. of money, like makes sense. Yeah, I thought you were like, no, but they they ran out of chicken. I was like, oh no, yeah, we don't we don't we don't call it a, that's we don't call money chicken. <laughs> oh my god, no, but that that's what it was. Yeah, like yeah. you know, motherfuckers said that that's all we wanted. We didn't want niggas like to to pay and like right. we knew niggas wasn't balling and we yeah. trying to break pockets because like we couldn't go to the club or it just wasn't our steez. So mm -hmm. it was like, yo, all right, Austin and Genius. All right, yo, y'all niggas going DJ. I wasn't even supposed to host. We were just in there acting up. Like yeah. we had, it was, it was a game, it was literally a game night. Oh, right. Wow. It was literally, it wasn't supposed to be like a party. It was supposed to be just like a game night. You bring some food, bring some drinks. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, you know, Austin and, and Genius, y'all play music, right? So I think it was a bright idea of either Kaz or Fox. He was like, yo, let's move this Uno table, cut the lights out, oh. and just have niggas start dancing. Mm, like a party. Yeah, real bash, like, bashment vibes. Like a party. It's a vibe. <laughs> like a party. I'm mad I wasn't there. Mm, like a party. Niggas turn the lights out, bro. We uh -oh. went stupid. Then luckily, I think, I forgot who had the mic. Austin the Genius had the mic. Here go my crazy ass. I just then I start going. Start saying some and shit. Yeah, you can't I start repeat. saying some shit. And then every it just it just escalated. It went from Cam's crib, then it went from a fucking frat house, then it went to an art gallery, Fly. then it went to Tammany Hall, then it then we went to DC because that's where I went to school at. So we had fucking uh, this 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 church venue, but they turned it into like a big ass club in Southeast. Okay, yeah, Damn, God that does not sound holy. Then Pusha T and Wale come, but nobody Ooh. knows they coming because Cash got a great relationship with Wale. Fire. Push got word and Push is just in the back watching all of this. Like we not even saying yo Push is here. Push is in the corner just like yo these niggas is getting yo, off. That was like Joe Bunn at our party. He was just in the back watching. Just <laughs> yo, but like yo, but just yeah, watching. Yeah, yeah. And this nigga say yo no, I need some of that. Yeah, yeah. I need some of that. So it's, it's nigga funny. walks right on that stage. Mm -hmm. Mega plays grinding and everybody turn around like wait. Oh, oh, oh like wait. Oh wait. He's 
He about to do it. Then Wale coming, uh, like, nah, I need some of that. What a moment. That was it. Yeah. That's so one that, of the what a, what a, yeah, that's, like, how, that's how that's how it goes. Wow. And it, it's crazy because one of the road trips that me and Alex took was to a Duce Palooza. Yes, it was. To see Pusha T perform when y'all was in DC. Yes, it so, was. So like this whole shit is yeah. just connecting dots. That's a that's a yeah, dope, dope push, push and push Wale, nip. Um, those Rest guys the always yeah. they they always pulled up to a lot of our joints. Mm -hmm. um, drama, Mike will made it. YG, ASAP, Ferg. Mm -hmm. um, I want to get to like all the topics that we have to talk. Yeah, I did. But, no, no, yeah, we can be here, but no, no, we can. No, I said enough. I'm saying it. You did. I want to get to it. all of the topics. We got the yeah. Kendrick announcement. Yeah, we got yeah, the Drake. Okay. We got all of the shit right yeah, that we have. We get back to that later. But nah, I want to stay there because. How does somebody go from throwing parties in the basement to mm -hmm. creating these relationships with the artists that you just listed? Um, the, a lot of those relationships did start from, you know, Kaz working at The Source. Okay. You wow. know, me working at BET, you heard that new hosting shows. Mm -hmm. A lot of those relationships start there. And then you got to give credit to Benner and Rory and Cam for having that business mindset and having and they have their separate relationships with all these guys too right. and they make it appealing they make it like interesting and it's just a group of people that understand culture that love culture and that took a risk not on the culture but themselves ourselves you feel what i'm saying so even with raven raven has become one of the biggest photographers in this era from 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 taking pics of Hove at his Beyonce. shows and Beyonce and yeah. doing album covers for Adele and now like one of the most sought out women photographers in this fucking game. So we've all have, you know, pivoted in, in, in taken our talents that we cultivated in the Palooza group and mm -hmm. did so it crazy. in our own way. So it's just like, it's yeah. a beautiful thing. No matter how it ended, and, you know, whatever the case is, bro, I can't take away the time and, the energy that was spent building this entire thing. People mm -hmm. change, people grow, yeah. but the respect level of what we did in that short time frame mm -hmm. and then having, you know, whole watch us do it. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, we're being sought out after him. Not, you know, we tried to go to them and we kind of didn't have the right price because we was feeling ourselves. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but him seeking us out and like, nah, like that's a black owned company. We're a black owned company. They need to be on this side of town. And yeah. you know, someone like him that clearly is who he is still has his pulse on the street. And that's, mm -hmm. that's who we were. So it's like that, oh. that, that whole time was just beautiful. You was a whole venture before that. What? Yes. I, but I, 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 <laughs> I, I, make sure. I gotta, I gotta blame my sister for that. My sister introduced me to whole. I'm like, I was a geek. Older? Player. Older sister? Yeah, I'm she's, assuming. Yeah, she's 46. Okay. She's 46. Gotcha. Cool. Uh, Nikki, she um, she a Locks fan, Mob Deep. Oh, come on. Uh, real New York. Yeah, like she a real, real she's from Jersey, but she a real little, oh. hub, yeah, she a hood booger. But, <laughs> um, <laughs> but she loved hip hop. Yeah. yeah. And I got all all the things that I talk about and experience, everything that I did, I got it from her. I would steal her stereo just to listen to Clues Monday Night Mixtape every Monday. That's oh, crazy. On. But that's I, where I got, that's where I got all my shit from. I'm just glad a group of friends got to work in the industry together and still yeah. stay friends. Yeah. It's kind of um, reminiscent and adjacent to this topic I wanted to bring up now. Okay. Um, through the rap beef between J. Cole and Drake, mm -hmm. J. Cole was somewhat in the crosshairs of that. Mm -hmm. We all know by now that he kind of backed out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He was like, you know what? Y'all be using automatic weapons. I'm, I'm, I didn't know it was going to be all this. No, I, I, mean, thought, that, I that, thought it was going to be a Glock or something. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all got automatic weapons out yeah, right? yeah. there. Oh, shit. Cole was just trying to bring his little 9 millimeter. Yeah. They say, nah, nigga, bazooka. No, that nigga yeah. had a BB gun. Yeah. There you go. That, Cole, Cole had a BB gun. That joke landed really well. There you go. Cole had a Come on, Cole had a BB gun. Cole had a BB gun. Let's clip that. Let's clip that. Lo, you good, man. I do <laughs> Since the beef, we've all wondered, like, what's the relationship between J. Cole and Drake like these days? I guess mm -hmm. when you look at right. when you look at what Cole did just now with the Ruby Rose record, right? Well, ASAP Rocky, right? And yeah, clearly, that's, yeah, hey, that ASAP Rocky's probably one of Drake's ops right well, now, right? Clearly, Drake and, and right. ASAP have that whatever thing yeah. that's going on. Amongst so if, yeah, yeah, I mean, that, yeah, the tension. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if, then if I like if I, if I look up on a Friday morning, <laughs> bro, dead ass. 
No, but you but, have but, but again, we always have these conversations as if we know what happened behind the scenes. As, as, as if we know if Cole and Drake had a conversation that, yo, listen, I know you and Homeboy about our squabbling, whatever the case is, but this record might have been done before and we're just now getting it done because now Rocky's album is done. Yeah, mm -hmm. facts. So this could have been done before everything started. Yeah. So, and at the end of the day, I don't need permission for me to release a record. Because their sure. their beef, their issue, the mm -hmm. Drake and Cole issue is not. I mean, the Drake and um, Rocky, Rocky issue is not. It's really not that. It's not Kendrick. It's not Kendrick. It ain't that. But it's like Rihanna. It is. It is a, a lot, thing. It's a lot of things. It is a thing, and it's not much yeah, speculation. Yeah, well, you lost Rihanna to that nigga years ago, so it's <laughs> like sure. you gotta let that go. But you know how that I got, go. I got two. I, yeah, but they wait, haven't let wait. it go. They haven't let it go. Drake hasn't let it go. <laughs> no, Rocky hasn't let it go either unless we want to be talking about this. This is, what, this is what Rocky said to Drake. But why, are we, are, but why are we talking about that? Did yeah. Rocky in, in, like initiate it? Oh, no. Well, did, he, did he shoot any jabs? But if you engage, you engage. Whether you initiate it or not. You did. If, you, you, if you engage, you engage. <laughs> if you engage, you engage. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? saying. That's, that's on, all you got to do. Come on, man. man. But when it comes yeah. to this, and, and, and Alex, I know you wanted to read that yeah, lyric. No, no, yeah, no, you before you even kind of get to the lyric, the thing with me, when I saw this, right, I didn't. it's not that I didn't think much of it. But I thought this is the second time this has happened. Now I understand clearances and doing songs like, mm -hmm. and you could tell, speak to it better than anybody. A lot of songs you'll do it this year, and it won't come out until another eighteen and months. And this is what I'm saying. So this maybe saying, that yeah. could have happened with For this. Sure. But there's still a thing called optics. Mm -hmm. There's still a thing called How optics. Things look. Yeah. And yes, J Cole he linked with Rocky, but he also linked with Future immediately after the whole. Kerfuffle, whatever you want to call it. What record was that? That was uh, Red Leather. That oh, was on the second one. That was on, that was yeah, on Future's yeah. second album. The second one. The, the second, second yep, album. The second and one, it was like the we peak of the you. beef, so mm -hmm. it sounded insane. Yeah. We still don't out. trust you. Granted, we kind of knew it was an older verse because J. Cole didn't address yeah. anything with the beef. Older verse or not, yeah. there's still optics that play in But this. if you're going to tell me I don't give a fuck what Cole thinks, that Dot shit is weak as... Hey, okay, so you don't care about my opinion? Mm. If I'm J. Why? Cole. Yeah, like, if why, why, why am I getting thrown in that shit? Like I spoke from what I felt about mm -hmm. the dot shit. I spoke for I didn't. I wasn't speaking for you. Yeah, mm -hmm. I didn't. I didn't say. Well, the Drake felt like this, and Drake. No, I said like, bro, I'm out of it. I'm good. When I heard Drake say, uh, "Nigga, Cole losing sleep, nigga, it ain't me." I thought that was a friendly jab. I did. I didn't think. How I didn't, many? How many? How many of those jabs? Yeah, you gonna, how many? Sure. How many of those jabs you going to do? You thought? Right. Wait, you thought when, that was a jab at Cole? A friendly jab. Friendly jab. Yeah, not nothing where he was really at odds with him. But mm -hmm. after I see the release of a record with ASAP Rocky, ASAP Rocky and Drake are getting muddy with each other right now. <laughs> at this current moment, it is. they in the mud. It is. So to see Cole with that, I don't think it's that serious. I don't think it's that serious. I don't think it's that serious. No way. It ain't that muddy. The most, really? the most recent bars that uh, Rocky did on yeah. Ruby Rosary, none of them landed. Like People are like, okay, whatever. Yeah, like, it wasn't. That's it's because not, nothing that Rocky is doing is landing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's not that that didn't land. So that's why I'm like, well, I'm not going to take this serious. Like like she just said. I don't think it's If it's not landing, then like, all right, cool. Like No one's talking about, oh my God, did you hear what he said? Nothing he's doing. But in, in it, nothing he's doing is landed. If we for, okay, for, so, but it's all right, all right, so add that to, to what she just said. Does is it really matter? We're, but, we're saying it's not getting muddy like you guys are saying. What like, I'm it's saying not, is it's really not. I don't care if it landed or not. <laughs> if if that is my homie, right, Drake, you and Cole are supposed to be homies, right? I right. did the first person shooter. It's the whole reason why Kendrick reacted and all of that shit. Yeah. You know how I feel about certain things. Mm -hmm. If I see one of my homies go do a song with a nigga I'm dissing right now and is dissing back at me, it's a bit weird. It's a bit weird. Again, <laughs> I, 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 two things can always be true. Right. The optics of the situation is fucked up. Is fucked up. Mm -hmm. But we do not know what these motherfuckers have talked about via text, phone call, even sitting with each other like, yo, Cole might be like, yo, here's, here's what's coming down the pipeline. Right, and I'm on a record where he might be saying some slick shit. I'm letting you know this was done before all this shit really, really unfucking folded. You remember when the hundred gigs first dropped? Yes, and the IG page came up. Yes, one of the memes was a meme directed at J Cole, and then he took it down. Right, right. But you, you, but uh -huh. that was, I remember that. That's weird to even start. That's my homie. If I know we have our certain understanding, why I'm playing with you on the internet like that with a meme? Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yo, to, to know the relationship between the two of them and how close they've either gotten or drifting away from each other, it, it that shit fucked me up when I saw them do it. And then it also, it, it also could be, yo, yeah. motherfuckers 
might not just not be friends no more. There we go. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, it, and 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 if that's the case, though, bro, we don't have to be in the group chat for every fucking conversation these niggas have. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, take us out of the group chat. Yeah. <laughs> but they, they like they, we good. Like, all right, y'all, y'all niggas don't fuck with each other. All right, y'all got nothing to do with us. Nah, nah. We good. Low, low. I can't. I can't let you. Nah, nah I can't nah, do it. You nah, want to nah, know nah, why? Nah. Why? Because they invited us into the group chat when they said, "Big is the Super Bowl." Don't forget it. Remember, it was they the, invited them us niggas said it was Muhammad Ali and Co. When they on stage and, and uh-huh. Kendrick told y'all niggas, I see you hugging and kissing us. Like they invited us and, into the group chat. Well, that, no, no, that was yeah. about that, that 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 hug. I see three ghosts hugging and kissing on stage, mm-hmm. or I see two. How'd you interpret hug. that? That's Jay and Beyonce. That's that, what I said. I, said, I don't believe I, that. Who, who else? I did. I see. It ain't them two niggas. You don't, I did, you don't I see J Cole and Drake hugging on stage. They kissing. That's what I, from a nigga who's trying to diss me. Yes, I'm gonna look at y'all and say y'all kissing. Low, That's I a little reach. Too, it's a little low. reach. When we, I don't well, think you it's can't, a reach. Yo, you can't say yo, when you, yo, you can't say that, Thank and then you. you can't say that, and then here comes like that, and it's just like fuck the big three. Yo, they said I was reaching. Then what? Uh, they said I was reaching, and it's if funny. Say, if you're saying all right, so now you're you're calling them ghosts, but now you're saying mm-hmm. fuck them. Which one is it? You can say both. No, you can't say both. I'm not gonna call if, you a goat and then say fuck you. If everybody is referring to us as the three goats, and I see y'all no, two no. niggas, Jake Cole referred to them as the three no, goats. No, the, the Doc never said it, and Drake never said the it. The perception of the masses have said we are the three, right? Okay. So I see the two other whatever he referred to them as hugging and kissing on stage. Every night that they went on tour, you saw Drake and J. Cole hugging and kissing on stage. You did. Bigging each other up. Yo, man, you really the one, man. You really inspired what if it was, me, what gang. If double entendre. What if he See, that's didn't what mean I it like that? That's why I need low. low. When this happened, I, t- I came he in did, here and he told it to them. I'm I, like, it seems a little bit weird because for Kendrick, I think he would go, oh, y'all think y'all in my big three? No, 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 homie. My big three is like the big boys, like a Beyonce yeah, I'm or not a call- Jay-Z. If I'm going, yo, my nigga, if I'm talking about I got three switches, mm-hmm. I'm not calling you no goat because if a goat, if I'm talking to a goat, I'm not, I'm not, okay. I'm not threatening. I get that. Right? I'm not going right. to threaten you. I'm not going to put you in, a, in an awkward position where mm-hmm. you now got to fucking defend your shit, this, that, and that. I'm talking to y'all niggas. I ain't talking to the, the one who I've been on the Super Bowl stage for with. For sure, for sure. The and one I got a song I've been with. on a, rec- a record with. I, all right. I ain't talking to y'all. That's what I'm, and I'm yeah. talking to y'all, y'all niggas over there that are getting fly with each other, mm-hmm. and now want to start talking slick with each other. Because so in now the, I gotta take, I gotta, I gotta give you a two for one. In the context of the culture, <laughs> I gotta give you a two for one. In the context of the culture, and the, the context <laughs> of what that them was, like a drive through, saying <laughs> hugging and kissing, even if he's talking about Hov and Beyonce. <laughs> He got that dollar menu. That nigga got that dollar menu. Like, nigga, I'm cool. I'm I'm two for one. 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 And you know what? Today is clarity that that. That is exactly who he could have been talking about. Even if he was talking about Hov and B, right? Yeah. To refer to Hov saying, I see you hugging and kissing on stage. But I, I, I see like two sl- goats hugging on stage. I see mm-hmm. two goats. I see two goats. I didn't say I seen Jay hugging his wife. I seen two I see goats. two goats and they're hugging and kissing on stage. Like that's who he is saying. Th- I'm talking goats. to that's my them. Big I'm talking to yeah. them. That's my big three. I ain't what, talking they to y'all niggas. They were on tour at that time. It don't matter. I still on stage, see it. On stage. On stage. I still see it. Were they performing at that time? They Beyonce was on tour. Beyonce was on the Renaissance tour. With Jay-Z? No, he was in the crowd with Blue yeah. doing his thing, being a supportive husband. He wasn't on stage. My thing at the time. Yo, okay, yeah, yo, 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 you're looking at it way too little. He didn't say I saw them hugging Keith on stage Last at, month. in March yeah. 2024. Okay. Like, I, 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 can, yeah. I can be wrong. Yeah. I'm just telling you, when I heard it, I applied it. Because if I'm looking at my ops like y'all two bitch ass niggas and hugging and kissing on stage. I'm not about to call you a goat. Okay. If you my, I'm, I'm not, not calling, calling you a goat. I'm not James. picking up your talent. Oh, hell, all right. But he also said, "Fuck them niggas." He, that. The way I see, I, I see two one. bitches hugging and kissing Come on, on stage. Low, tell them niggas. Then that, right. right, like, oh, he talk. If <laughs> I, I see two goats hugging and kissing on stage, that I'm was talking an, about J Cole and Drake. There was another so lyric. Right. There was yeah. another lyric okay. when he referred to them as friends, quote unquote friends, with the Y with the Y N W Melly. So if you can acknowledge them as being friends or peers or whatever, mm-hmm. you can also acknowledge them as the people considering them goats on stage. You can but be, you can be, you can be my, saying. you could be my friend, but you could be a bum ass nigga. You could be a bum ass friend. <laughs> Yo, this, even, I, lo- I love even, this. You could be a bum ass friend. Even if people, this back even if people, if y'all fuck, real, if y'all, people, <laughs> yeah, I'm listening. If y'all my real friends, I hope mm-hmm. it's not a Y N W Melly situation. Correct. Yeah. If y'all my real friends, meaning we, yeah. he's acknowledging 
the the, the ties that they have to yes. each other. Yeah. He's acknowledging them. I could be. Oh, wait, listen, real uh-huh. quick. Uh-huh. Right, 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 when he right, says, right, right. "If y'all my real friends, I hope it's not a Y and W Melly," he's acknowledging that they're on the same level in some degree. So when he says, in, in my head, I'm right, not. I don't right, know right, what right, he right, said, right. but when I hear, I see two goats kissing and hugging on stage. I take it as a slight to the two niggas who just came off a tour together for the last year, two years, right. hugging it literally Constantly every on stage, night, yeah. no, giving true. each other these these props, no, no, literally true. hugging on stage. So right, that's wait, my right, thing. So okay, I wait, get what you're saying on, with the whole goat right, thing. Read the, can, we, can, we, can we read the lyrics to like that? For sure. Just for, for con- just oh, we, for we, con- we, we ain't got Pierre. Yo, okay, damn. Right, shout out to my guy Pierre. Pierre be in the background, but Alex, I know you're going to pull that up. Just for context. But while he pulls that up. I get it. I get it. But what if... It could really be both. Like Kendrick really is that deep, though. He is. So he really could have meant it as both, and it makes sense as both. The way I the, see where he's coming from. I know. I, no, I, no yeah, he's yeah. not off it base. Like, oh yeah, he's not off base. So I'm not but even. But this trying, one just yeah. makes more sense. Yeah, yeah, but if here's what I'm saying. The nigga said I have I have language barriers, so he's not understanding what either one of the niggas are talking about, right? So I'm like, I'm I'm losing y'all. If you the Wyan the the Wyan W Melly. That's like, yo, y'all pushing me to a point where I might murder one of y'all. My friends. Right. Allegedly. <laughs> I'm, that's that's I'm the not, case. I'm not calling you a goat if I want to cause I'm bodily not. harm to you. I'm not. I can identify. I'm just not. Yeah, I can, I can identify I'm just that not. people like you. Yeah. But to call him a goat after being so pissed off, after being so mad, that you, which, oh, oh, for what they said on First Person Shooter, I don't see that nigga calling. But then, but then he even said, "Yo, I, I still like when you see success. Mm-hmm. Everything with, with me, me is blessed. blessed. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna leave it there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cool, I fuck with you. Yo, it's, it's good when you. He's when acknowledging you, their greatness. Yeah, no. In my opinion, he, no, if he's I'm calling, he's, he's acknowledging their success. Okay, whatever you want to call it. No, success, that, that's what it is. <laughs> that's just fucking what it is. <laughs> you, got, you got it. I, I shut the fuck up. <laughs> what the fuck? I shut it the fuck up. He did stop. He did, he did I, shut up. No, I shut up. <laughs> no, it, the, the beautiful thing about all of this is mm-hmm. it does allow us to deep dive, figure out, code yeah. switch, listen and, mm-hmm. and, and interpret things the way we want to interpret it. But at the end of the day, like I, like I said earlier, we mm-hmm. do not know the relationships between Dot and, and, and Cole. Yeah. We don't know the relationships between Cole and Drake. Clearly, there's no fucking relationship between Drake and Dot. Right. You know what I'm saying? So if they want to continue to shoot, let them continue to shoot. And if that's going to be what it is, that's just going to be what it is. But at the end of the day, we can't get online or get you know on these microphones and say, matter of factly, this is what he meant. This is what he's going to mm-hmm. do. Mm-hmm. This is where they went wrong. We don't mm-hmm. fucking know. No, no, no. Do we, do we, we get just more, don't know. Do we get more uh, music from Drake and J. Cole in the future? I don't think they're cool anymore. I could see it in the I future. Could, I could see it, but we, we, they, we just don't know. Their, we don't know what, mm-hmm. what it is. I think they can make up. Like, I don't think their, their beef right now yep. is that serious. Mm, like, yeah. on the Kendrick I, to Drake I agree. level. Yeah. I agree. I agree. I, agree. I, definitely I agree. think at this point, we maybe we don't know in the moment, but we will know based on the continuance oh. of their careers and their collaborations, right? If we see J. Cole collaborate with Kendrick Lamar, we can assume... The side that J. J. Cole has taken. You get what I'm saying? Right? Like, and and they only leave it up to interpretation at this point. If I see Drake and J. Cole again, what am I going to assume? It's just like with this whole Super Bowl situation. Yeah. With the Super Bowl, Uh huh. we saw the announcement, Kendrick Lamar. Yeah. He's doing the Super Bowl, yeah. Apple Music. Yeah. We know all of the, the, the strings that are attached to mm-hmm. this event. Mm-hmm. Apple Music. Don't, Jay-Z, don't, don't point at, don't point at me. <laughs> oh, now we point at you. No, 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 no,
just I was just asking you because you no motherfucker. Don't don't try to set me up. You want to know the funny thing is? Because I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna see this clip. I know you watched that Mandy episode. We're not gonna clip you. I'm gonna see this clip and I'm gonna get a fucking phone call from Ebro. Yo, what the fuck, bro? Yo, shout out to Mandy for being a sacrificial lamb. No, Savon basically basically is trying to say so Loki booked Kendrick for the halftime show. <laughs> no, no, here's no funny shit. Here's no, uh, funny, here's no funny shit. You really didn't know? Huh? You really didn't know about it? I had no idea. Even if I didn't know, I wouldn't tell you. Of course not. I'm not, not, I'm not allowed to. <laughs> no, but I would tell you off camera. Yeah, but <laughs> it's going to be a clip from this. And as we go into the conversation, and some dumbass is going to be like, he knew. <laughs> he don't even like Drake. That's why he be doing it and saying this shit. I can't believe y'all got that. Mm -hmm. I done had niggas threaten my mom over a Drake comment. What? No. That's how. Wait, that's what, was how the, what was the comment? What was the comment? I was like, he don't have a classic. Oh, that I didn't see that. Look, you didn't believe classic. that though when you said that, right? You didn't believe that. Did you just say that to Ruffle Feathers? Yes. Um, okay. okay. Oh, so, uh, <laughs> no, but the first time. Thank you, man. Okay, Rich. All right. The first time I said it. I didn't believe it. First time I said uh, I didn't believe it. First time, how, but that I was take long. My fist time. This was like, this like maybe like three, maybe like three, four years ago. What did you conclude? But he had, he had a classic out by that time. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, it, it took me a minute to get to to the take care thing. But yeah, that is, yeah, that is. Good. That's but, the one of you. Yeah, that's that's the one. Okay. But anyway, I um I was like, yeah, Drake don't got an undeniable bona fide classic. <laughs> I did see you when you tweeted that. Yeah, <laughs> that was yes. you. That was me. That was He's a menace on Twitter. That was though. definitely me. Oh my god! And then someone hopped in my comments. It's like that's why you can't hug your mom no more. I said, <gasps> oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. I, said, I have really, I really like low, like, like no funny. I, like I may that. have the darkest humor. Not just in this room, but no, believe him. Just pick, like I definitely really, in this bro. Room. I'm not even gonna hold you. But, I, yo, that's but, not even but funny. It's not. No, I'm like, not I, yo, but not really funny, like, funny. I, I, re, I, I, I responded. I didn't retweet it because I was like, yeah, niggas gonna get on you if I retweet it. Right. So I respond. So I'm like, damn, that's crazy, my G. Lol. Like, like I, I they like, there's saying. no, they have no conception of emotional awareness or emotional responsibility when it mm -hmm. comes to things that they love, right? Mm -hmm. And that's just any that, that, that could be sports. That could be politics. That mm -hmm. could be music. That could just be anything that you have an undying, infinite love for. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the more that I've gotten into this industry, the more that I've been on social media and see how people interact with things that they don't agree with, they'll take it to a point of just like utter disrespect. And I know you, you're not going to say that to me. Never in my face. You're not going to say that Every to my face. Every time we meet, so it's like, the best words. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to crash out or sure. I'm not going to go at your family or your well-being mm -hmm. whatever the case is because I know like you're just that emotional and you have that much love and respect for whoever you're defending so it's yeah, like yeah, alright yeah, yeah I get it I'm like damn that's crazy my G yeah. and but I laughed it off but it's just like, let it go why do you have to pick a side like I love music low yeah like I, I'm only loyal to music yeah Whatever I take from it, perceive from it, pick up with it, I'm running with it. That's just what it is. I'm going to keep it tall every time. Right. The internet and this rap beef showed me that you got to pick a side. I'm like, what are you talking about? We come from Go that, outside. Well, well, we come from that era, Loki. What era? Yeah. And, and, and I no, love no, 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 yeah, no, no pun intended. Yeah. But yeah, go ahead. Alex, we, yeah. we come from that era where what you era? almost had to pick a side. It was, I never picked it a was, side. But listen, but I'm not our saying era, you. I'm saying... Yeah. Where we were kind of known to understand music as was a competitive sport. Mm -hmm. Sure. And you supported who you wanted to support in that moment. And that is what led to picking a side. At that time, it wasn't really about music because back then, we would get in music at such a slow rate. I just wanted to know who was going to diss who the best, mm -hmm. and I'm going to pick a side. Mm -hmm. Whoever had the number one music See? on 106 in Park yeah. is who, I, you know what I'm See, saying? Like, it was a little bit different where we didn't have a, a choice but to pick a side. Today, mm -hmm. because I I get the music so rapidly yeah. i could decide who i want to you know what i'm saying when it's I, a little bit different when i say pick a side you did something that you were supposed to do right you consume the music mm -hmm. and whatever you got from it is what you sided with right, right. what i mean bro is people will pick a side mm -hmm. without even digesting the art well and because i'm with this side i can't give you a real answer on it so i can give you a subjective i'm only going to give you a subject a subjective answer on it you unless, we're about, unless we're talking about facts exactly mm -hmm. Back then, Unless we're talking about tour numbers, yeah. radio sing or uh, you know, so album album charts. Yeah, about? like and again, these I, niggas don't know me, but I, I pick a side. I could I could only speak for myself. Yeah. But yeah. I know back then growing up, the reason why I felt like obligated to pick a side yeah. is because that's what I was forced to do. 
You get what I'm saying? From who? I don't li- I don't think the music wasn't the determining factor of who was better or who was winning the beef. But what made you pick Back a then, side? When, fan I, base. when I heard Piggy Bank, mm-hmm. Piggy yeah. Bank is not a great song that okay. has aged extremely well. Mm-hmm. Right. There's a lot of diss records from that time where we wasn't judging who was winning the beef off of the music. Right. I'm going based on who I like or who said what it is that I resonate with or who I believe. And I'm going to pick a side based on that. You're talking about the music. Today, I think it's a little bit different because we've never seen a rap beef where the songs came out this rapidly, this consecutively. Well, no, 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 no. no, Like this? At this level? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait. At the level? At this level. At the level of artists. artists. Okay, yeah, you're right. This level, that fast, we have never seen that. So it's a little bit different comparing... Or, or, or judging is saying, oh, should we just love the music or should we just pick a side? Back then, bro, I literally, I had no choice. I, I had I, no choice. I salute you. When I heard Checkmate I and then I heard Piggy Bank, I, got no I literally with. had to pick back then. So I I'm still you. conditioned to feel that way personally. I'm not mad at you for that. Like, we were younger, you did what you had to do. At this adult age, if you're not able to decipher music because you quote unquote picked the side, it's fucking corny. To Who me. put out better music? It's fucking corny. And, and, <laughs> go, Reggie. I think that reminds me of the Super Bowl conversation because, like, if people said, like, oh my God, well, damn, I wish Lil Wayne did it. People are like, you fucking hate Kendrick? You think he's not deserving right. of this? Like, you know, like, no nuance in the conversation. Yes. And then I agree with Alex where it's like, no, I agree with Savon too, where back then you did have to pick a side. But now, if you can't have these conversations with nuance, I don't want to listen to you. Like, I don't you know? want to listen to you. Let's talk about the Super Bowl. What's the point? Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Um, Super Bowl, Kendrick Lamar is slated to host it. Yes. Like Reggie was just saying, it's a Super Bowl 59. Yes. A lot of people assume that Lil Wayne was supposed to be the one to do with this shit. I'll speak personally. Uh-oh. I thought Taylor Swift had it this year. Oh, yo, right, honestly, yo, cut the cameras off. I'm, I'm out of here. No, hit me out. Hit me out, Trent. And I know Come this on. looks bad because I'm the no, only I mean, like. No, I, I can leave. <laughs> no, 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 what I mean by it is we saw Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift all last NFL season yes it was to a point where you would go on ESPN or watch the games and it would constantly pan to her in the sweet box just you know cheering Travis just like Kelsey they did the first week absolutely yeah. right yeah. even to the point where Usher was slated to do it and people were like hmm I don't think these rumblings were correct or right, but they were like, mm, I think, tra- you know, uh, Taylor. Taylor Swift might take it because of how the NFL is incorporating her. So before I could even think about Wayne, I thought it was in the bag, Taylor Swift. She's still with Travis Kelsey. Yeah. So yeah. I thought, you know what? Maybe if they broke up over the summer, you know, it, it could just happen. Right. I'm shocked. I'm surprised. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess a lot of the internet, and I want to know what you guys thought about this today. Kendrick Lamar did have an amazing year. Okay. We, we, we know that. Right. Was it supposed to be Wayne? Uh, you know, we could get into that. All right. So, again, this is not me speaking logistically because I work in the Apple ecosystem. Because, like I said earlier, um, I woke up Sunday at like one thirty-two, and okay. my sister hit me and was like, yo... The Giants uniforms suck. <laughs> Sound like Reggie. And I was like, you know, in the group chat, that was the No, I was like, because you know, yeah, I'm, I'm not like an NFL expert. I literally texted, I was like, guys, what is going on with the Thank uniforms? You. Like, Thank I don't you. know if everyone was on the same page with this. Like, yeah, yeah. and I'm like, fuck, I forgot the Giants is playing at one o'clock. Like, <laughs> so that, that's what I'm worried about. Then I I get online, I get on ESPN, and I'm like, all right, what's the score? It's like 20 to 6. I'm like, I'm going back to sleep. <laughs> Like, fuck this Let's shit. Let's try again next week. And then, all right, and then I get, okay, the text messages mm-hmm. and the Twitter mentions. So I'm like, what the What's fuck? I'm like, what is going on? It's 1.30. Like, bro, we just getting Sunday started. And then I see this nigga sitting in front of the fucking American flag. I'm like, all right, so is this an album? Mm. Or is... then I see the caption, Super Bowl 59, New Orleans. I'm like, oh, oh. God. Mm. My timeline. I had people, how could you? <laughs> how could I what? I didn't even take a shower yet. Oh, at you? At you? Yes. Stop. 
<laughs> Wait, what? Now you had Apple Music in your bio, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, they saw Apple Music on a little promo video and was like, yo, how could you, Lo? Yo, word, Lo. <laughs> that's what y'all doing over there. Oh, my God. That's hilarious. <laughs> yo, they just want to blame you someone. You only doing that. Because I'm like, fam, I'm not even, I don't even go into the office till tomorrow. <laughs> so, you know, um, even before the announcement was made, I was like, yo, Wayne would be the perfect suited person mm -hmm. for this or it'd be a cash money reunion or this, that, and the third or yeah. whatever the case is. But a lot of things that people are missing is mm -hmm. when Wayne did Essence Festival. Mm. And Wayne wasn't part of the Birdman cash money thing. Mm -hmm. And I see a lot of people saying like, this would be a great time to celebrate cash money as a unit. Mm -hmm. This would be great, a great time to celebrate little Wayne as a unit, as a unit, or just as a, you know, a superstar and just a caveat to hip hop. And it's like, I get it. I understand it. But the more you start deep diving and looking at these little, little Wayne, you know, inserts, whatever, like someone from the Grammys had tweeted out some shit like, yo, he's hard to work with. He's difficult. Mm -hmm. He's inconsistent. He's not reliable. This, that, and the third. He forgets his lyrics. He's not on time. Like a bunch of little things that make sense for a big ass stage like that. Do I say he's not deserving? That's not what I'm saying at all because mm -hmm. Wayne's catalog is immaculate and monsterful, mm -hmm. right? So the music is not the, the conversation. Mm -hmm. Wayne, feature-wise, feature has been great this year. Feature after feature after feature after feature and just body in it. What moment has Wayne served this year that can carry a situation like the Super Bowl that would attract and that would kind of like maintain because mm -hmm. like that's 15 minutes. Wayne's catalog is fucking insanely deep mm -hmm. and trying to pick a set list. Do you, and, and all the people he's collaborated with. Yeah. Bro, like, do you understand how difficult that can be it's a moment. for the production from, you know, Apple production and Rock Nation trying to, and then trying to fit in all those guests? Is he going to be reliable? Mm hmm Is he going to have these lyrics? Because when he does these shows, he has his lyrics like on uh, like a little teleprompter. Yeah. Mm. You saw a motherfucker. I didn't know that. You, yeah. Mm -hmm. like I didn't I, know that. If you watch some of his shows, you see like mm -hmm. he's got, teleprompter. It's, like, it's like karaoke almost. Yeah, mm -hmm. but he but, also did Rolling Loud. Yeah, no, no, I get it. But and he did like over 30 songs that I, time. I understand that. But at the same time, like yeah. though it, it's sometimes a necessity for him. Right. And as much music as he has, that's no, there's no fault to his own. Mm -hmm. It's a lot. Well, but I but, but the Super Bowl, you got, you got 13 to 15 minutes. What I will say to that point, and I agree with everything you said. One of the things that I wrote down in my notes was Lil Wayne is deserving. Because I know we're gonna have Without a conversation. Question. I know people are gonna come We'd have to make it crystal clear that right? like, So Without I'm glad you said it because I was gonna say that too. I have no problem saying it because it's not like I'm saying, yo, Wayne can't do it. Wayne, like, there's a lot mm -hmm. of conversation about yo, Wayne doesn't have Super Bowl records. I'm like, y'all are fucking retarded. Y'all yeah. think that he don't have You're Super crazy. Bowl records. I don't know if he does. Save on. Okay. Save on. Right, okay. Right. Now, now they're See, all right. Now he about. Never mind. Save on. Now, wait, but you just said he's does. deserving, so he I'm, doesn't yeah. have records now? Uh, no. I, what's, sorry, two, so what's, what's two, the difference? Two things can be true. He could have, like, he cannot have the Super Bowl records, but if you're still saying be he's deserving. deserving, that means you know the content and the, the shit that he's created has made you say that. Come on, bro. He's deserving. He's not because, deserving because he's like he's a, a fashion icon. He's no. deserving because he's one of the greatest rappers and artists that ever hit our stage. A Millie, yes. Lollipop. For sure. He can do 15 minutes. He could do, Easily. He could do 20 He could do 15 minutes anywhere. So then how you say but he's what, not deserving? What, what talk, I, I'm not saying he's not deserving. He is deserving. But what I'm saying is the records may not translate to the audience that the Super Bowl presents. In New Orleans? They're fucking in New Orleans, Savon. <laughs> if they right. was in Tampa, yeah, <laughs> okay, I get that. Yeah, yeah, all right. If yeah, they was in Arizona, about... they're in New Orleans, bro. <laughs> Listen to me. Okay. The only time that the city and the artist has correlated in a meaningful way was Los Angeles when Dr. Dre had all of the people that he brought out for his influence. The Super Bowl is not synonymous with the city that is in, which says, hope the artist needs to be a part of this show. That's not what but, I'm saying. That was not, that's not what we're saying. So y'all keep but, talking but, about no, New Orleans. No, you just take said, New Orleans out of it. Save on. You just said that. No, we're not. That's why they would hit. You just said it. We're not saying that. Yeah. We can't say the obvious of saying. 
hypothetically take them out. Yeah, you take them out, then we're having a different conversation. It's we're never in mattered. fucking in New Orleans. It's, I, but it's it never has, no, mattered. It, it, has, it hasn't mattered that's until the city, the, that's the not city, the city, and the artist yeah. has not mattered in who the halftime I, performer I, I is. I agree with you. Until with you. the Dr. Dre LA thing, there was a Absolutely. big thing because it's big business and this whole shit is big business. Yeah. But the LA thing was so big because it was in LA. Yeah. They had yeah. a brand new stadium. Yes. They just brought the Rams weren't over. The, weren't the Rams? Weren't the Rams playing? The Ra mm. I can't remember. remember that Super Bowl. I can't remember. They they may have been playing. Rams, the Rams were playing. The Rams were in playing. the Super Bowl yeah, recently. Yeah, yeah. I don't no, know if it's that, was that, a, one. that was that okay. year. That was that year. Okay. Regardless, they were playing. the city that the Super Bowl is in has never correlated with the artist. We're not. It only we're started. Not, started not, it not, only no. happened. We agree with you. We're not saying that. Okay, but then so that, we're okay. not saying that. Why are we saying it needs to be? What we're saying, what we're saying is, it does not make any more clearer sense to not have other than. Him. Right. I mean, that's, that, that's, a, that's, that's a bigger argument that everybody's saying, like, bro, when you think of New Orleans, you think of what? But if I'm the NFL, no, Wayne. And if that, I'm, listen, if I'm the I world, I get it. I get it. If I'm the world and mm -hmm. if I'm the NFL mm -hmm. and I think of New Orleans, sure, I do think of Lil Wayne. And mm -hmm. again, he is deserving. Mm -hmm. But we're talking about big business. I'm talking about the biggest event of the year. Let me throw you a bomb. I'm not lit. I'm not sitting here thinking, oh, we have to pay tribute to this city because this great man did great things here. Right. I'm going to think you. about the product. The product says the biggest rapper of this year with the biggest song, rap song of this year, with the not just the biggest song, but He's, the legacy not, and the catalog not, is not, Kendrick Lamar. You're not wrong. You're, you're not, not wrong. wrong. So, Let me throw you yes, not wrong. I'm not saying Lil Wayne is not deserving. <laughs> Yeah. But I can easily look at how these things are constructed and be like, oh wait, but like, like, didn't but, get like this? but like we've been okay. saying, like we've been saying all episode, two things can be true. If Wayne was selected, fuck it. I get it. Mm -hmm. I understand that. But the things that Kendrick did this year, yeah. it just it just is like, all right, guys, like you get, we can't be that numb or that like can't oblivious. Be. To just wonder why, like, he got, like, really? Why like, do you, why, calling, like, like to really? Your, to, to your point, I got you, Reggie. Mm -hmm. To your point, if I'm advertised with the NFL, and we got Kendrick Lamar, who's had the number one song all throughout the summer and everything, I can... Still. Still. It's still, it's, still, it's, it's, it's still in the top ten. Right. Still at, still at the, the time of this recording. Still, right? Yep. Yep. I get exactly what you're saying. What I will say is the other side of things, right? Jay-Z has an extensive relationship with Lil Wayne. Both. One, exactly. One Both. that goes far before Kendrick Lamar was even in the frame of things. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Of course. So when you put that up there, it's like, all right, cool. Not only do you have a relationship with Kendrick Lamar, like, oh, fuck, I'm having a fucking brain fart. I'm in a position. If, if, and again, if I'm Hove, yes, I have a relationship. And we don't know. Like, like, like Lowe has been saying all fucking episode. We don't know what these people right, well, don't, talk don't, about. Don't, don't, don't say like I'm dragging it. No. You're saying like I'm being annoying. Like, no. He's been saying, he's been <laughs> no, saying this shit all fucking episode. I'm just saying it's I'm consistent. Just That's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just I'm saying it's I'm consistent. Gonna throw, I'm going to throw a little joke in there. You got my fault. No, did right? you yeah. deliver that so seriously? I was like, oh shit. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, is he mad at us? No, no, no. Not at all. Not at all. But I say it because it's one of the things we could harken back to. This is a callback. Like, we don't really know. So we don't know if this announcement came with Lil Wayne already being in the know of, hey, this is going to be what it is, but we're gonna give you x y and z like we don't really know all of the variables there, there, in there, the situation there's, a, there's okay maybe so, you might know because you had apple see here we go then hey can you just can you just before i start yelling at him can you just give me a little bit more time? <laughs> I'm sorry. um so i did my research before i came here right okay, and i'm like same. all right because i know we're gonna have a conversation about how these performers are selected mm -hmm. who selects it mm -hmm. who's responsible right so i um i saw that the NFL has a committee of people that they get artists submitted and they make a a, a, a convert they make a, a selection of who's gonna be in this standard third. And this is from the NFL Rock Nation. Who, yeah, Rock Nation, right. the, uh, the head of music at NFL, mm -hmm. and then I think the city committee mm -hmm. of like New Orleans or whatever city it is. And they all come to a consensus, right? And I was reading this article and you know, uh, I think I think the NFL has stated that like you know it's it's a bunch of us that make this 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 mm -hmm. this uh, this For decision. Sure. Yeah, and we have like we have a list of artists. You know, we bring it to the heads, we bring it to the people responsible, and then a decision is made. Mm -hmm. I think it was like the CEO of Entertainment in New Orleans was like, 
that's not true. The NFL is responsible solely for mm-hmm. making that decision. I literally, right. we're right here. I literally have that qu- quote pulled up. You know what I'm talking in about. In a statement emailed to Anscape. Yep, um, yep, yep. There Jay Cicero, the president and CEO yes, of Greater New Orleans is, yep. Sports Foundation, yep. he said, quote, it is the NFL's decision alone for all entertainment for mm. the Super Bowl. We found out it. Uh, we found out about at the, it at, at the, the same, same time, time as, as you guys. Did. And yep. he was just replying because people were like, oh, like New Orleans, like it's a is city a part that of picks it. it. Yeah. And then he was like, no, no, no. They made the decision without us. So mm-hmm. I think that's worth noting. No, absolutely. So, and I, and I, that's know, why I wanted to make sure I brought, and I'm glad that you, me, so me and you were making the same point, but yeah. a lot of people were like, well, okay, if the city makes it, why wouldn't they choose? Blowing. Lil Wayne. And then you have, they're saying that uh, Master P is the entertainment ambassador for mm-hmm. Super Bowl weekend. So, like, is he included on the selection process? Yeah. Or is it I, like. I hate to be the guy I, to say this. What's up? Do you say Jay Z has a lot of say. I really do. <laughs> Jay Z has a lot of say. No, 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 no. I mean, I don't know what Jay Z. I think when these decisions are made, mm-hmm. we're talking cultural versus global. That's what I think a lot of this is. And so when you get a Dr. Oh. Dre a few years ago that's in Los Angeles, yeah. yes, it makes perfect sense. We're in LA. We got Dr. Dre. We got all of the aftermath affiliates. It, it makes Dog, sense. Mary J. Blige, but Eminem. not only does it make sense for the city at that time, but everybody that he brought out could be considered a global artist on their own. So much so that one of the artists he brought out was Kendrick Lamar, who's actually headlining it this year. Wayne and is I'm, not a and I'm not, artist. I'm not saying he's not known globally, but today, in 2024, from a global perspective, I don't know if he still pushes that needle. With all the things that if, we said, forgetting lyrics, mm, not being, you know... Reliable. And, and reliable, all of those things. And even, even some of the things that he's recently said um, regarding the social climate in the world, right? These people have to take everything into that's consideration. Not a, that's not a bad point. Every, they have to take everything into point. consideration when they make these decisions. Not a bad and again, point. it goes back to what we said at the start of this conversation. Not that he's not deserving, mm-hmm. but we also got to understand this is a business and this is the single most handedly biggest event of the year. It's no, the biggest no, event of the year. No if, if Little Wayne no goes lies. to China, they're going to recite a milli. If he goes to Germany, Maybe. they're going to... No, it's, I, I, it's, not, I, I, it's not. It's not a maybe. It's, it's not, not a maybe. maybe. It's it's not a maybe. You scaring me right now. This is all right. It's not. He's scaring me. I don't know. He's scaring me today. I don't know if his. Nigga, yo, nigga, Jay. I don't know if his. Nigga, yo, nigga, Jay, I don't know, nigga, yo, Jay went to Glastonbury and did that whole fucking like. I don't know what that is. Majority of these U.S. based stars go overseas and kill. They're obsessed. A nigga like what if yo what if what do the same? Fifty just do. Fifty kills. We talk fifty fifty and and again don't don't fifty is different. But we don't got more recent music. Win. When it comes to star power, I'm not talking about Shit. 50 is the one outlier in music mm-hmm. who has literally created an entire and now we know because we grew up in New York, we understand music. So we know what 50 did during the mixtape era. Of course. We 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 get that. Right, right, but to right, the right. masses, we could and not just the masses, the generation under us, they may not even know 50 Cent ever had a mixtape. You know why they know 50 My nigga Cent? Went, hold on. His first album went diamond. I'm like, not, like, let's no, but stop it. I was gonna get there. Like, let's fucking I was stop gonna, it. I'm talking about. Because, like, hey, you've been pissing no, me off. Let's listen, listen, we talk this. You ain't even been pissing me off. Yo, 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 just low, low. Like, yo, just slowly low. every three, he be, four, he be five raising, minutes. Low. That's why I keep asking low, for another drink because I'm like, bro, like, bro. He's like, I can't take it. I'm raising my blood pressure every week. He is the one every week. Like, like, hold on. Let me, let me, let me say this. Yo, Savon hit me. He was like, yo, bro. Like, I love this. I love this. I love this. Savon hit me. He was like, yo, man. Like, because we just connected on like Instagram and Twitter because we was going back. He was like, yo, yeah. man, yo, take my number, da da da, whatever the case is. Then I woke up, I think it was like Sunday or Monday. He was like, yo, bro, I know it's last minute. Yo, pull up to the podcast. Like, yo, we wanna, we wanna talk to you. I'm like, yo, this nigga's, yo, I fuck with this nigga. Yeah, yeah, fuck as fuck. But it's, and then he was like, yo, what you want to eat? I was about to order Amy Ruth. I was like, nah. Like, you could have done it. But I, nope, I we ain't have doing a, We have a budget. <laughs> I, we got I, I, and, I, and I love it, but I was, like, <laughs> I was like, nah, let me get a little BLT, okay. let me get some Jameson, let me just keep it light because, you know. I, okay, I, rider. I, yeah, because okay. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I have a rider. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> if I had that fried chicken, I'd fell asleep. <laughs> Thank God. So then I'm like, oh, we get here, nigga, the, the yeah. Jameson's here already, the sandwich is here already, shout out to Karen, like, yo, you, they took care of us. <laughs> but episode starts, and I'm like, all right. <laughs> I don't like that. Yeah, he pissed me off. <laughs> he pissed me off. Then he's like, all right, Clyde. 
Now he, he do it smooth. Yeah, yeah. It's it's when we go do it smooth. He do it smooth. He do it smooth. Yeah, it's like slow burn. burn. And he'll talk before you can talk. Right, so right. you get more <laughs> built up. Yo, so Alex. then, yo, so Man, then. Oh, he's just venting now. Oh, 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 oh. He do it. We on the same team. He be raising my blood pressure. Like, he's a guest. He got to leave. Nah, this is my good. You still got to do that. He's like, yeah, and he does this. And he does this. Get him low. I like him low. So I'm like, so I'm like, all right. Get him low. All right. Yeah, he keeps saying that Apple Music shit. All right, cool. <laughs> nigga trying to get him, trying to get me in trouble. I would never do that. Nah, no. This nigga trying to take my job. Like, all right, say this that. Take my job. So I'm like, all right, cool. You ain't got no pictures. Ain't no photography here yet. Then like, he get here late. So I'm like, damn, I can't get my fit off. I can't get no pictures. So I'm like, all right, this nigga set me up for the what up. He's funny. So I'm like, oh, okay. Like, then he started like talking me. about this Dre J Cole shit. Like, yeah, you know, well, this is your fault because you know Kendrick is performing the Super Bowl and you knew about this shit. I'm like, all right, save on. Like now you really but now like so now. I understand how these niggas yeah. be yelling. Oh, my now we have and, and, I, and then she's He's like, good. she be like, He's and good. I didn't see her like breathe a couple of hard, like oh. hard breath. Oh my god! <sighs> like I'm like, come I on, try guys. to keep it peaceful. <laughs> nah, but at the end of the day, bro, you made some valid points about the wing shit. But at the end of the day, this is a global thing. Yeah, Kendrick has had a big, big fucking year. This is the only rapper that has stayed in the top ten for about the last four to five months. Mm -hmm. No album, no none of that. Mm -hmm. So then now we got the Grammys coming up, the nominations coming up in in November. Mm -hmm. Lord knows that something album or something is coming because just like when Usher performed last year, we got that album the next day after mm -hmm. that concert was over. Yeah, Kendrick ain't doing this shit for fun. Yeah, and, and, and then I'm and then I'm telling you in front of the world, in front of American flag, no round twos. Mm. How y'all feel about that? Um, I don't know how to feel about it. I'm gonna be honest with you. This is an ongoing war. I don't think it's gonna stop. Um, an ongoing it's funny. no, an ongoing yeah. war is when both sides are competing. I I think Drake oh. is competing adjacently. Where? I, look, I'm not in Drake's head. I can't tell you what he's thinking. How could but he? If, but if, I don't, I, how could he? No, legit. Yeah. Hey, is hey, it, 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 it com Kendrick competing as well? Yeah, I, what I'm saying is you Kendrick gotta, is not competing right now. No. He I isn't mean, even saying no round two. He's like still participating. Like he's still he's making sense. No, he's but continuing that, to win. That, that's responding to Drake yeah. when he says, we're going to win game two. That's absolutely. That's, that's, that's literally Kendrick saying, I'm going out. I'm it's funny. Like, nigga, you're bugging. Yeah. It's funny because on the same day of the announcement for the Super Bowl, Drake made an announcement as well. He's going to be the ambassador for the 2026 uh, World Cup that is hosted by Canada. So in my head, I'm like, damn, yo, he dropped this on the same day as the Super Bowl? Wait, who dropped it first? Kendrick. Kendrick was okay, top yeah, of the morning. Yeah, yeah. Kendrick was top of the morning. This is later on in the day. I'm, I look at an interview. Here go Drake. Yo, he's sitting stop. up with he's sitting yo, up with somebody talking about something. Yo, I'm the Stay ambassador hard, for yo, Kendrick. Stop. What's so funny? What's Why are they giggling? I'm like, nah. That's what he did. <laughs> nah, I see. I'm saying that's what he did. Like, sometimes yeah. you gotta understand body language. Like, you, you get like, you know the funny ah. thing? He just get, went on a five minute rant of why I don't fuck <laughs> with this nigga. But me and him looked at each other for the same seconds. We were like, yeah, fuck with that. He get it. Like, what are you talking about? No, like, but I'm just saying, like, to Reggie's point, right? Right, right, right. If I'm Drake, maybe I'm competing in my head. We not in Drake's head. To right. us, to the public, it could look like, oh, he losing, he got smoke. I right. don't know what Drake thinking. Mm -hmm. Right. I don't. No, you're right. I you think know? I think there can be there could be a sense of obliviousness mm -hmm. with with Drake because he's coddled, because he's protected, because I don't believe even from the fans to maybe the folks that are around him are not really saying like, yo. Let's not stop. Mm -hmm. Let's yeah. let's 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 just not. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like this man, four to five months, top ten. Yeah. You dropped six records. The highest one was number sixty. Yeah, it, it was. And it's like, yo, and you're the, the and you're the numbers guy. I, I mm -hmm. said that here last week. Dot, you it. like Drake? You're yeah. the numbers guy. Like the only thing for me that I see as an advantage because Kendrick is not that forthcoming with content or information or just being out there. Drake has put out two 100 gig content pieces of shit that we love. We like, so, oh, take care. Nothing was the so, same. Terror bite coming down. Yeah, like, <laughs> oh, dude, no. <laughs> they don't have to create a new word for bite. <laughs> <laughs> terror bite coming but, down for you. But niggas. that, like, that, that's your caveat of getting us back in with you and like, yeah, man, I fucking remember take care and I remember when you was doing this and I remember mm -hmm. you was with Wayne and I remember you was with Future and this, mm -hmm. that, and watching you do these records with 40. Like, yeah, we kind of lost that moment of like, what Not Like Us did to you or Euphoria or 616. We kind of just like oh shit man fuck all that all right cool that was cool for the summer mm -hmm. but like damn yeah I, 
Now we're going to go back and listen to Take Care. Now I'm going to go back and listen to Nothing Was The Same. Like, so mm -hmm. that, that angle, yo, that was fucking mm -hmm. perfect. Yeah. But then outside of that, you're dropping, like, you have four, five, six records that every time you drop, you're, you're top 10, top 20. Bro, you ain't even broke top 50. That says mm -hmm. a lot more. That was out for me. Then a lot of people understand. Though the records were already out, still. What, what does it say to you? It says to me that Dot has done so much with so little. Mm. And Drake is the king of doing so much with so much. Mm -hmm. Got you. From the social media standpoint, from the little jokes to the features to the records. And I think this is the first time that I've seen that his output is not registering like it used to. Because of when it was coming, like I've always said, oh, you got to take a break, you got to take a break. But even if I'm saying that records are still registering, like we're still hearing them shits outside and mm -hmm. people are still quoting them shits. This is probably the first time for me, and I study his shit a lot, that it's like, oh, it's just not hitting. Mm -hmm. And Kendrick is seeing, and Kendrick, yeah, it's just not hitting. And Kendrick is seeing that, and Kendrick has not let his fucking knee off of Drake's neck. And this, and I think, this, it's it's either this is the final straw, the Grammy nod is the final straw, mm -hmm. and what we see him perform at the Super Bowl. at the Super Bowl, mm -hmm. and if we get an album. So there, there's like the 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 bricks that are building. For Drake to continue to suffer are really, <laughs> it's really nasty right and now. I'm, and I can't lie to you, Kendrick's unpredictability is what, Rid like, is what helps him ridiculous. time and time again. And this is no slay of listen, time and listen, time listen, again. Like, just look at the discourse we're having over the right, Super Bowl right now. Right. He went in his little hole after he did the Not Like Us video. And this is your and this no. is your next pop out. And this is his next pop out and it's yeah. all over but the everywhere. Everything, but Drake's I mean, been popping out. Crazy. Drake's been popping out yeah. several, several, mm -hmm. several, from content to song. Yeah. And the last thing we saw was a Not Like Us video. Yeah. And that was what, mm -hmm. July 4th? Yeah. If you go on his Twitter, I love it because every tweet, he does, it's just a link and he's like, okay, bye. And then it he was, sends the, he sets the world it, on fire. It's Euphoria. <laughs> it's 616 in LA. It's Meet the Grams. Not Like Us video. And then the super, everything announced right at you. No in between. Less is more. No in between. That's what I said. And, and I just remember. <laughs> 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 I don't want to take from. <laughs> All right. That's not All right, no, like, on, this is what you get I, when you I, get I, a nigga like I, me. I, like, I, like, I, this is what you get, nigga. I, I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm fast, like, bro. Pause. I'm, 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 I'm fast. It's just you one of those can't, things. You, yeah, can't, you can't get me, bro. Well, less yeah. is more, though. Yeah, right. Legit. Right, right, less is right, more right. when it comes to Kendrick. And I don't want to take away from Kendrick, right? He had an amazing year. Yes, he yes, completely yes. deserves to do the Super Bowl. What I will say about Wayne, because I had a brain fart earlier, it just came back to me, right? Wayne wanted to do the Super Bowl. I was going to say that no, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speak that's to why, it, that's Speak why to it. it hurts more. I want a million dollars. We get, say, well, hold on. Oh, what does that mean? Crazy. No, I get it. I get I, it. I want you, can't, you can't get everything you want. You can't get everything you want. Hold on. So I, 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 I get it. I, it I goes agree, way deeper than that. I agree with the point that people are bringing it up like, oh, it's New Orleans. Like, it should have been Lil Wayne. I get that point, but we kind of debunked too. that a little bit. But the reason why it hurts a little bit more is because Lil Wayne has been very vocal about how much he wants to do the Super Bowl. Yeah. Everyone has heard it. So it's kind of like, damn, like you heard him talking about wanting this all year and then yeah. boom, you didn't pick it up. Hey, that's entitlement. I don't think it's I don't think it's entitlement. Not saying, I, we know he me, deserves yo, me, it. Me asking for a Jameson bottle, that's entitlement. No, it's no, not. not. We asked you. How is it entitlement if he puts oh, yeah, it, yeah, 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 yeah. it in the work? <laughs> We asked you. He did. He did. He it's not saying. a title Come because on. he is a hip hop legend and he is a New Orleans hero. Like he deserves to be like he does. He make does. a case for this. And I don't does. think it's a And not for nothing, he has a relationship with Jay Z. We just saw the two with them at the Fanatics Fest, right? Yes. Yeah. Let's just let's just talk about human level shit right now. Okay. okay. We can talk it. about the numbers. We can talk about all that shit later. Let's okay. talk about human level shit. Okay. I almost forgot Wayne was the reason why Hove came out of retirement. Talk to me. Jay put out the black album, right? Mm -hmm. Next album, he was talking about DOA and hip hop needs a savior, and that was right around no, the time. No, that was Blueprint. No, Blueprint Two was first, and then Blueprint Three came out. But the last album he put out, though, right? Well, what wasn't it? Um, oh my god, I'm having a fucking. It was burn. Black Album came out in 2003. Yes, Who, and what he put out in 04? Kingdom Come. Kingdom Come is what I meant to say. Right? Okay, but Kingdom Come was he talking about Death of Auto Tune? No, black. That's Blueprint Three. That's Blueprint Three, right? Blueprint Three is Death Auto. So, Hov wanted to take a break. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But it was a it was a young nigga that was buzzing outside. I was calling himself the best rapper of all time. Yeah. 
His his big homie Birdman was talking about how he had more money than Jay Z. Yeah. I forget about all this. I'm only mentioning all this, my G, because I'm thinking to myself, like, if I'm Jay Z mm-hmm. and I've been had some sort of rapport with Lil Wayne, even way before Kendrick Lamar. Yeah. And the, granted, the Super Bowl has been done in New Orleans eleven times. The last one they did, Beyonce headlined it. Right, mm-hmm. right. Yeah. My, she my, from New Orleans. She from Houston. I, I know, I know. But, still, I'm, but nobody, know, nobody better the eye when Beyonce did it in New Orleans. She's not from New Orleans. They only bat the eye because they hate this little dark skin nigga. Exactly. Who? Who they Kendrick hate? Lamar. Kendrick. <laughs> like that's the only reason they hate that nigga. We're having Who's this they? conversation <laughs> yeah. because just of that. Just that it just threw me I'm off. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's <laughs> what I'm trying to say. I get, I get, I get, I get, I get mouth like. Start off. So I, 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 this is why, like, they have. Like, this is why you're a good boy. Oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, but, like, yeah, I'm all, right, all right. Okay. Mm-hmm. The city has never mattered in correlation no, no, to I'm the not, artists. No, I'm, I'm not, not even saying, no, we're not saying that. I'm yes. sorry. I'm right. that. You, you can't bring up that point, point. <laughs> and they're like, yo, we are not the fuck saying up. that. No. I'll, I'll, okay, I'll say, I'll say this. I'll say this. Yeah. I'll say this. <laughs> Drake and Kendrick don't beef with each other. Oh, yeah. And Kendrick gets this position this is not as big of a deal it's not very true De- right. this is not as that, yeah. big of a deal it, it's gonna be a big deal yeah, because like, still be like yeah, oh, they no way, if drake and kendrick don't do this because then you can have kendrick all right cool drake and kendrick are not beefing mm-hmm. kendrick is a big big fan of Lil wayne mm-hmm. all right yo get you know turk bg mm-hmm. juvie manny yo Y'all getting five, eight minutes with, with me. Yeah. But because that these niggas tried to stomp each other's necks in the entire summer, it doesn't, op- like like we always spoke about earlier, mm-hmm. optically, it just, do- like the optics does not look good. The but, optics, but the, what it I'm, won't, it won't. What I'm trying to get to is something deeper, okay. right? Like I said, I want to go to the human side. And I just looked it up to good clarification. The Black Album was released in 03, and it was intended to be his last project. Right? It definitely was. 0304 is when Wayne was gearing up for the Carter. Okay. And this is when I'm the best rapper alive conversations are being had. Yep. And if I'm Hove, I'm looking on there like, damn, I I, I do want to bow out gracefully, but it's this young cat that's kind of buzzing right now. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So for me, I'm going to say, I think Wayne is the reason why Hove came out of retirement. And I'm only bringing all this shit up is because... What could be the reason? And granted, we know there's a committee for the NFL and mm-hmm. there are various other channels that help Jay-Z coordinate who was going to perform, et cetera. I get all of that. Right. But back to relationships in the industry. We started this whole episode off with that, right? Right, right. If, I, if I'm calling you my predecessor back during that time, because then Hove came back and Wayne and Hove were exchanging shots on mm-hmm. records, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I remember that time like vaguely, right? But yeah. I do remember they were trading shots at each other, of course. right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I remember Wayne was no, talking about was like, when you when you look uh, at um TI's watch what you say. There you go. That that he that was whole, talking about the Lils and all yeah, that, yeah, insinuating yeah. that the little Wayne's and things of that nature. Bitch, your DNA is in my music, motherfucker, you stupid. Calling him his son. Yes. Right, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I wanted to go back and remember these moments because I'm like, damn. Could Hov really be holding a grudge? Look, Baby was talking about how Wayne and him were making more money than Hov. Granted, we've got way past that point. Since yeah. then, we know mm-hmm. Jay-Z has helped Lil Wayne with taxes. Mm-hmm. 40, you know, 14, you million. 14, 14, yeah, yeah. 14 million. I even look at the taxes differently now. And, and, and that's 14 why million. when people try to insert Hov into this whole situation, I get it. From a surface level, it makes a lot of sense to me. Mm-hmm. But if you know what it is that you're talking about, it doesn't. And... Hove has shown you and told you many a ways. I'm a businessman, not a bit like this is what I do. This is what I do. I'm always going to put the business first from a business perspective. If we take away all of the variables of the city that is in and yeah. the year that is in, whatever the case may be right. from a business standpoint, Kendrick Lamar makes more sense to be on that stage than Lil Wayne. Hold on. Can I just say one thing? I don't know if this is going to be terrible, but like, if we're really <clears throat> saying he did this solely because of business, no cultural context, whatever, like, wouldn't the best business decision be Taylor Swift? That's what I said. I'm sorry, like, that That's is... What, no, sit it, down, Lil, no, we ain't no. done yet. Sit down. No, no, she Reggie, just you came off the Eras tour. Like, if you really want to make this the That's most watched Super Bowl in the entire history, Hello? you're booking what? Taylor Swift. You are. Am I no, wrong? Keep like, going, Reggie. You right. I don't keep know. going. Like, Fuck all these the girlies niggas. are obsessed with her, so yeah, the girls are, are going to tune in. Like, are, like, yeah, Reggie, keep going. Don't worry about love. Right. Reggie, no, keep going. No, no, Reggie, keep killing. 
<laughs> Reggie, keep I going. Keep no, going. Keep going on that. <laughs> no, but like. Because if it was just business, go ahead, go ahead. Yes, I love this. I don't know. So if it was not just business. solely business, wouldn't it have been Taylor it Swift? It would have been. Ta- she's with an NFL player. There's like other things that are we go talking into about? it. A okay, hold on, hold on. I'm just exploring no, the no, other no, side. No, I, I love it. I, I, no, I love it. I, I love. It, I, love it, I, I love the other side of it. But okay, if we're talking about cultural and the impact and the the stance, aside from Taylor really being. The woke. Inserted. The woke. No, I ain't even gonna say that. Well, right. Even inserted into the NFL process, the NFL presence, right? Outside of that, what has Taylor done in the last 365 days since the last Super Bowl? What has uh, Taylor, what has Taylor black. done? I don't know. She broke like all the touring records. It was her and Beyonce neck and neck. Okay. Like the Eras tour, everyone was obsessed with it. I know that's not really our no, no, realm. No, no, I'm just asking. I'm just but asking. But globally, I feel like she really did make hey. a splash this year, in hey. my opinion. Hey, okay. low. What's up? She sell a milli when she dropped. Okay, okay. I don't care what time, no what else, year, what like, era. Right. It's always lit for her. Are we walking uh, into no, a yeah. trap? Always huh? the first. I she, thought he was. Are you yo, setting us up fact, to into? No, 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 you no, 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 that school. I mean, that she she yeah, made a, a milli okay, off okay. the re rock. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's what Reggie told me. Off the re release project, she made a milli. Yeah. Okay, so, so if we talking so, just business. Why right. wasn't it Taylor? So all right, so we, that's why I go down to the logistic so, and the right, human so, side. So we we talked about Taylor for for what reasons from the last Super Bowl to now. We talked about her because she was dating Travis Kelsey, correct? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's we a, talked that's, about Travis Kelsey yeah. because he was dating Taylor Swift. Gotcha. That's a business boom for the NFL. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then she was on tour. Yes. And sold astronomically. Astronomically. She like boosted the economy of like every city that she visited. <laughs> no, you're right. Okay. And, so she then, and then she, By the way, I'm not a Swifty. Like I no, don't no, really you're, care you're about this. You're making valid points. Okay, mm-hmm. And then she re-released an album that came out what two, three years ago and re-released it in different like forms. Maybe a and, like, and yeah, yeah. Like, Spanish, Jewish, like mm-hmm. whatever. You know. Whatever <laughs> yeah, whatever. Crazy. Okay, whatever. Okay. Global. So Spanish, yeah, glo- Jewish. yeah, global. I'm sorry. Okay. But outside of that, when it comes to cultural, mm-hmm. right? The NFL is specifically, we could say black culture. Since when? Are you talking about the players? Nigga, the, 98 niggas on the ball fucking uh, field is black culture. Don't, that don't make me be very I'm, 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 not, I'm, not, I'm not saying I'm not saying front office. Okay. I'm not saying head coaches. Walk I'm, back, I'm just put saying, the gun down. No, 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 I'm, just, I'm just saying when, when it comes to us, like okay. the, the last five Super Bowl performers have been what? Black, black artists. Let, let, let's, let's highlight. No, no, let's, let's highlight. You're right. They've been, been black even, artists. Even Latin artists. It's, yes. not, it's a it culture. Was, yeah, yeah. But, but, but why right. though? Let's speak to it. 2019, Rod Nation inked the deal to help lead that. So we know for so the most what, part. So, like so that. what am I saying? You talking yeah, about so supposed to be what am I, oh, So you? what so, am I saying? So it's not business then. It's, no, no, it's no, more okay. culture. No, culture saying, is business. Yes. No, no, it's not. Yes, yes. the fuck it Wait, is. So I'm not all agreeing, the time. I'm all right. agreeing that, that in terms of the culture, the I love this Kendrick Lamar pick. I think there was. I think it was the like the good decision. But I'm saying in terms of business, wouldn't Taylor Swift bring in more dollars? Like I feel like she would. But like when Hove is at when Hove is the head of this whole operation. Hov is so like you're always. Not, gonna, well, he's not. He's not. The, he's not the head, but he's he's the fi- like. Face. He's the, he's the you know, face. He said face. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I'm not saying that he's making all the decisions. I'm not saying he has all the powers. Yeah, of course, of course, but of from our perspective, when we see the halftime performer, who do we point to? We point to Rock Nation and Hove. Yes. Yeah. That's what I'm yes. saying, right? Yeah, With yeah, that yeah. point. Because now, so, now, 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 now we're starting to discover the new names and the other people that are involved in this mm-hmm. shit right five now because we're so outraged. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. literally. Now Four we're starting to be like, oh, this motherfucker. Oh, you, you. Oh, so it's not just. It's not just OG. But going yeah. back to what Reggie yeah. said, from a business standpoint, of course, She's you want right. to get, the, you right. get Bad She's Bunny. Right. Oh. You, you want to get Taylor. Jay, you want to get Jay Balvin. You want to no. get all of these big... But listen, listen, from a business standpoint, listen. there are Bad bigger... Bad Bunny does There's, sense. there's always does. a bigger artist but, out there. But when I'm Hove and when Rock Nation is attached to this specific event and I know it's going to come back on me, I have to take into consideration culture. And from a cultural business standpoint... Kendrick Lamar makes the most sense. Just in the last 365 days, this man has made a mark in if we're, every if like, we're talking, And he was, he was on tour before if we're this. Talk, if we're talking culturally, you cannot definitively say that. Lil Wayne cannot join we're that not, in we're, New Orleans. We're not saying anything. I, 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 your business, not, he did though, just I now. Said, no, you, said com- culturally. Com- you said culturally. No, the combination of culture and business has to, to make they sense. Have to, they have to meet. When, uh, they have to yes, meet in the middle. They got to meet in the middle. They got to meet in the middle. Little Wayne is far left culture, culture than it is business. Taylor Swift is far, far left, left business <gasps> than culture. So what so I have to do when I'm on the ground. We got a little Venn diagram. Venn diagram. Venn diagram. 
Yes, don't they dap up, nigga. What the I fuck? That's, that's, that's a fire on. because when you have that, when you have that diagram, yes. it's gonna be Kendrick in the middle right here. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be Taylor over here. Then it's gonna be Wayne over there. That that that's, that's a fire. I, that's a fire. I, agree. I do that's agree. A, I, that's a fire you know, point. Wait, did that Alex doesn't agree? That's I a don't know fire point. I agree. With that. I one hundred percent agree. I see that one hundred. You should include because you made records with both. I get no. how you would want to include culture and business, right? But this start of this conversation was Jay Z is a businessman, right? Because yeah. if we talk in culture, you still have to add how New Orleans is one of the blackest cities in the United States of no America. Li- no lies. It's, no lies. No lies. So, so what is no the takeaway from Kendrick no being lies. the blackest city? What do you, what Kendrick do you mean? is I, one of the most pro Kendrick. black artists. If anything, Lord Wayne Whoa. has said, I don't give Whoa. a fuck about what these black niggas is doing. Whoa. Whoa. I'm doing me. Hold on, hold on. So hold on. If we're talking hold black culture. Hey, let's not hold bring on. that up. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. If we're let's talking not, black culture. Let's, 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 let's not bring that up. I'm going to blow it up. Let's not bring that up. Nah, let's not bring that up. Why did Roger get that? I didn't want to go there. I'm about to blow it up. They got me mad. All right. They got me mad. I'm going to blow it up. Let me get some more. I'm about to blow it up. I'm about to blow it up. I know we about to fight. I know we're about to fight. Why did Roger Goodell Uh-oh. and the NFL seek after Jay Z? Was it because the NFL always had culture? Was it because what was it? Let's be honest here. It's because they weren't looking that good to black people, correct? Correct. It's because black Come culture on. needed to meet big business. Black culture needed to meet business. Is that something they ever cared about until Colin Kaepernick took no. a knee? The climate and the okay. market of certain things changed things. Okay. And that's one of the things that was determined based on those circumstances. But what you do is you go get the biggest person yes. who can embody all of that. And the bi- one of our leaders in the, the, the entertainment community, is black community, is, is Jay-Z. Who better than to bring in to have on this committee? He's always, this is why he's him. And outside, like, we hear all these rappers talk about Jay-Z in the period, right? We hear all the time, DMX sold more than Hove. Ja Rule at some point sold more than Hove. Eminem, we hear all of these people, but the reason Hove is Hove is not just because of his music or his talent. It's because he's always able to have the, the vision. This is a part of that vision. Yeah. Lil Wayne is culture, embodies New Orleans yes. culture. yes. Taylor Swift embodies business. Big business. So you know what I'm going to do? And, and her culture. And her culture. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make that meet in the middle better than any other place that I can. And that is Kendrick Lamar. Because, so, because, all right, because granted, right? Granted, if you're an NFL fan, you're probably looking at the Chiefs like, okay, yeah, they're probably going to have a shot of going back to the Super Bowl. Right? Mm. Right. Even if they don't go to the Super Bowl, I yes. can assure you, yes. Taylor is probably going to be in one and, of them skyboxes. And, it's, mm-hmm. and, and what's going to happen? NFL cameras, whether it's on Fox, ABC, NBC, Peacock, whatever the fuck it is, mm-hmm. them cameras are going to be right there on what? On Taylor. Yeah. Watching Taylor, watch Kendrick. And, but, then, and then they're going to give a pie chart. Oh, viewers <laughs> that okay. viewers that loved and they watched Kendra, they watched uh, Taylor Swift. She was on the camera for about fifty mm-hmm. seconds, and they were like, "Yep, they did it last year." Right, I remember. Taylor is good for their business. Hold and on, and she has been proven good for their business. Uh-huh. Hold on, I'm bugging. Yeah, I no. see what, what I'm bugging. I, I'm, 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 I'm bugging. Wait, yeah, wait, what's wrong? It, it's funny. It's funny. Right. It's funny because we only speak into black culture, which I love and respect. But I was thinking to the NFL business. That, that, and, that's and, what I'm but, speaking but to right now. The NFL has a business side and a culture side. So to your point about Taylor Swift, one of the biggest pop stars in the world that's dating one of the top players in the NFL yeah. would fit their culture. So my thing here is, okay, I Not understand. Jay-Z. Rock Nation, I, the halftime look, look, is Rock at Nation. At the end of the day, Jay-Z has to, you guys told me this already, right? It's not just Jay-Z. He also has to satisfy the people above him, Correct? 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 Like Correct? The committee, can I get a yes? Yeah, the committee. It's a yes. collaborative. Yes. Yes. No, you yes. can't get a yes. It coincides. It coincides. It coincides. It coincides. I'll get a coincides. It, 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 it coincides. It coincides. It coincides. Because they're, 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 they're... Let's be honest. There's a head of music in the NFL. Then you got the city of New Orleans who has that... How we brought up that mm-hmm. that yes you know those people absolutely Jay is not the from what I'm understanding what I try to really get a good information about today was like is he the end all be all and clearly he's not does the NFL care if Jay Z just satisfies the black people if Jay Z what I'm sorry if Jay Z only satisfies the black people does the NFL the care? last yes. four the last four years who 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 have been the highlight that's by force Bowl. that's by force though I'm saying it just in general do you I, think the NFL really gives a fuck I really do. 
Okay. So then why, I'm not if, if, they, if they didn't, why the fuck would he be in, in that position in any capacity? Why was it only a five-year deal? Because you know what a five-year deal tells me? I for, wasn't in the fucking meeting last week. Can I speak? You want to solve? Can I speak? No, okay, you got it. When I see five-year deal, I go, damn. Look, what y'all, y'all trying to cover y'all steps for right now. You know what? The NFL is really, really shitty. There are some black people, there are some African-Americans out there that are looking at this league as disgusting. Yeah. They don't like what we align with. They don't like the owners and shit. Right. So you know what? Let's do damage control for the next few years. And not like a lifelong change. Thank you. For yeah. the, that's, and that's what I'm saying. So it's like, at the end of the day, he still has to satisfy everybody, Jay-Z. Business is business. Yes. When you sign a business deal, unless you're like a fucking billionaire, quadrillionaire, a lot of those business deals aren't for 20, 30 fucking years. They're for five, seven, six, eight, I, two. maybe at two. Look at LeBron James every year. I'm one, year, one year. What did Steph Curry just get? A <laughs> one, one year, year extension. <laughs> for, for wait, wasn't 64? that like a, 65 million in a wait, year. Wait, wasn't that That's like an age clause kind of thing? Who, for, uh, for uh, LeBron? For, no, for Steph Curry. Wasn't that like the year I mean, well, yeah, or No, what I'm, what I'm saying to you is a lot of those deals do not extend past maybe three, four, five okay. years. Jay-Z is never going to sign a 20-year 20 20 deal. Would he sign 20 he's million? Gonna, would he sign a 20-year deal this. to do that? Is, is Jay-Z, not, y'all think Jay-Z going to re-up with NFL? You think, y'all think that's going to happen again? I, yes, I think. Y'all, last, y'all, y'all really think that? I if, think, we, if we see <laughs> what happens, this, if we see what happens February 9th. Fuck what happened February 9th. Oh, we shit, know what that's going to do. Last year, he had the second highest viewed Super Bowl ever. You know that he's always nominated for a fucking Emmy salute, for that. Hey, hey, salute to everybody on that production. All, right, all, right. all the productions are usually good when it comes <laughs> to the Super Bowl. For the, for, the, for, the <laughs> for the last four years, he's been nominated but for. I salute you, you that black like, man. Okay. Like I salute. Okay. Him. Before okay. Jay Z started doing this, and we could kind of move on, or, or maybe just shift the conversation. But even before Jay Z and Rock Nation had this responsibility of bringing these artists to the halftime mm-hmm, show, like. Yeah. We remember like the Bruno Mars, right? But we also got to think about, I don't even know if they did it, but the fucking Coldplay's of the world. Like, well, Cold, no, Cold, cause Coldplay was, Coldplay was a part of the Beyonce. Bruno Mars. No, and Beyonce. no, Coldplay and that was, was the main, was the main yes, artist. Yes, and, and then that, they brought up Bruno Mars and that Beyonce. Was what, that was in Denver or San Francisco? It was that Super Bowl. I think it was the Denver Super Bowl. I think, Denver, yeah, I, Denver, and yeah. I don't know for sure, but what I'm saying is there's a lot of misses there's been a lot of misses or a lot of polarizing people who's done the halftime performance. Right. Mm-hmm. Since Hove has been there, we can list everybody who's done it, from J Lo to okay. her shit, right? J Lo, J Lo, Shakira. Okay. We had Rihanna. They had, we we got, had the weekend. We had the weekend. Uh huh. Um, the Dr. Dr. Dre Dr. one. Usher, Usher, right? Like and now there is a cultural currency that Jay Z is bringing to this that specific event. That little isn't a part of. I feel you. He may, and, and there's nothing wrong with saying that. <laughs> Salute. You made him we laugh. don't know. See, he that's, 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 no, no, that's, that's not that's, that's, that's why I don't want to die on that culture here with y'all. Because this is New Orleans and Lil Wayne. It's culture y'all. and it's I also know, business. I know we had some more auto tune verses for the last few years that maybe people didn't like no one, as much. No one's so, no, so, no, no one's, no, no one's saying anything about okay. his auto tune verses. Right. Okay. Culturally, right? Okay. I'm not going to listen to Jay. Like on the podcast, we listen to Jay Lowe's album on the podcast. Cause we had no choice. <laughs> it was it was fire too. The song we put on, Hello. we Hello. listened Stop to J Lo's album. Oh, we did. All right. We did that. All right. But in my personal life, I like Lo. I like Lo. <laughs> no, I get the little nuances. Yeah. We did it, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I get it. I get it. Got it. But got it. Got it. we're not going outside to listen to J Lo's album, which is not. not. Right, so so, yeah. but there's there's a way I'm to connect watch, the I'm dots. Watch Living Color. Okay, like, yeah. there's certain ways to connect the dots, and I think Jay Z or the, whatever committee is in charge of doing that is doing it at a very high level. I'm, again, we started this conversation by saying it's not that Lil Wayne is not deserving, exactly, but we have to make sure we are hitting the mark every single and, that, and unfortunately, time. sometimes you have to put bu- your business decision and choices over. A cultural preference, and, and hopefully, that, and, that, and, that, and, that, and that, that's that that just the world, bro. That's just the world. He I, should I understand. feel the world. Salute to the world, man. I just I know, feel I like get, if, I get you. You want to make him? I get you. I get you. I get you. He's he. No, I get. I get him. No, I get him. I get him. No, I, get him. Oh, I love Nikki. Shout out to Nikki. I know you. You team Nikki. Bless us. I'm not ready to cry. I don't pick a side. Don't put that on me. You know I don't pick sides. I said that on this episode already. But I love Nikki. What I'm saying is right, and this is really my point. She got me blocked. She got you blocked? Yeah, we can figure that out. Eight I'm eight a ball. Yeah, nah, and Meek. Yeah, she got me uh, blocked yeah. eight Oh, you too? She nah, blocked you? She I said Meek. Meek. Oh, and Meek. Meek oh, Meek no, Meek oh, no, got you. Meek no, 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 got you. No, he got me blocked. Oh, where? Nah, because he was getting at you on Twitter. We get to that later. No, we talk about that. All right, bet. Because I want to know. This is my real point with this, right? Jay-Z and Lil Wayne basically come around from the same era, right? They spent... Sort of. No. 
Sort of. Jay, Jay was ninety five when I was born. And Jay was ninety five. Well, well, Wayne was making music in ninety seven. Ninety eight. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Wayne was on the really hot boy. You, you, you and LV squad up. I got thank you. you. Thank you. you. It, it crossed. I got right? you. Okay, thank I got you. you. Thank you. They were both putting out projects. Oh two. Oh three. Oh four. And Mr. Carter. Right. Uh, yeah. So what I'm got saying you. is, got I love Kendrick Lamar. I love his performance. I love what he did during the rap battle. Y'all can hear it on the past episodes, the previous episodes here. Saluted. I get it from a business standpoint. I wasn't even mad at. It. I'm gonna be honest with you. Mm-hmm. I get it. After the year he's coming off, amazing. However, if I'm <coughs> Jay Z, and I feel like this is only for him. The relationship that you've already had with Wayne, yeah. with the records, with the diss tracks, with the back and forth over the years, right. that is a part of the cachet that you've built with someone, right? right? So granted, though New Orleans has seen the Super Bowl 11 times, mm-hmm. I, like Savon said, it's not a homecoming show. No. I'm with Savon. Right, right. I, I remember, even the, um, the Usher joint, I thought it was in Atlanta. It wasn't, it was in Vegas. Vegas. Yeah. So I don't look at it as a homecoming show. What I will say, though, is... Also, no, it looks, also, also uh-huh. no Vegas had... Uh-huh. Vegas had Usher for about two years. For the residency yes, over there, yes. right? So, so that, made, that made a God. lot of sense. So yeah, some yeah. people might feel like, yo, it's still like a homecoming of sorts. That made that made Cool, sense. I get Usher it. Usher dances gotcha. and remembers his lyrics. Oh, Little oh, Wayne. Oh, yeah. Little, yeah. Finish, not, Little Wayne did 30 songs nice. at Rolling Loud, bro. That's you can go nice. look that up, bro. And that is not an easy task to do. Nigga, Rolling I can't even. Rolling Loud is not Super Bowl. It's not the Super Bowl, but at the end of the day, though, you still have to recite these words. Rolling Loud is a club of I get that. See what I'm saying? I get that. We love Rihanna. Rihanna wasn't dancing. She was pregnant. We let it rock. It was still entertaining. Like, come on, y'all. Yeah, but well, you, we're talking, but but no way to put on a show. That's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. If we're, Rihanna we're can put on a show. We're not, say, we're not saying that Wayne cannot put on a show. We're not saying Wayne is not deserving. We're not saying Wayne does not have a catalog. We're not saying anything of that. And the last thing that I'm going to say off of this, all we're saying is I've seen outside perspectives of like Wayne isn't that because the reliability. He's not, you know... Professional. I He's not it. that. That's all I can and, look and at. And, excerpts, and, 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 if, and, if, and if someone like Jay is looking at that, right, right, and you have fifteen minutes, but you just saw me. You just you just saw me at Fanatics Fest, man. You you the internet what has seen. Have just to, let me finish, bro. Just let me finish, bro. I know you don't give a fuck. The human shit don't mean nothing to you. This, I get this, you. This, this I feel you. This how me and Cassie are. Yeah, like this I how feel me and Cass. This how me and Ebro. When you say this how you feel, I don't change your thinking. This is how I feel, right? And how I feel on a human level, my nigga. Bro, you just see me at the Fanatics Fest. Okay. There are excerpts everywhere on the internet from me doing podcasts and interviews about how I want to do the Super Bowl. Two years ago. Yes, two years ago. So gotcha. to your point, yeah. um, Lo, I feel you. There has been moments where he slipped up with the lyrics, right? Of course, of course. But the Super Bowl, like how y'all said, is one of those moments where you put the lean to the side. Where you put the butt to the side for an hour. These, I'm serious. This is and one you of these. And you prepare yeah. properly. Can We're you trying guarantee? To act, that, yes, that, 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 I think I can guarantee that for that sort you of can performance. Guarantee that he that can do that. He's like, yes, he's a grown ass man. Are okay. we really trying to say that Wayne no, no, doesn't no, have no, enough? No, no not you. Oh. Maybe this one. Do we? Can we really trying to say right now that Wayne doesn't have enough control to put the walk down for two weeks? I don't like, know. Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne would rise to the. Alex, yeah. Lil Wayne would rise to the occasion if he was given the chance. Yes, That's give what him he's three saying. minutes. And you have that rapport with him for no, all give these him years. Minutes. I know you're trying to watch him. But wait, what is it? Pause, 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 pause. Whoa, you heard that, that was, was a... say give him three minutes? You heard that. Right? Yeah, hold, hold that down. Hold you that down. down. You you know, what if Kendrick, what if Kendrick brings out Lil Wayne and we did all this hoopla for nothing? He can't do it. Why? Drake. We, no, 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 I know the optics okay. are crazy, but what if I don't know? That'd be dope. What if, Do we what even if? know if Wayne fuck with Drake for real? I think so. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> like, let me ask it? you this. What <laughs> code code so let me ask you this. I'm just asking the real. No, you're right. No, you're right. No, you're right. Because you're right. Because you're right. You're right. You're right. I say right. that because right. we see how vocal Nicki Minaj has been over this last week when she it came lost, to Wayne. She lost her Wife out of there. She right? lost her Wife. Yeah, she ain't say nothing. They took a yeah, no, uh, no. right, fault. They yeah. took all that. I don't, want, I don't like, want no smoke. I don't want no smoke. We we seen how she came to defense for Wayne, but. But mm. we've, been, we've been covering this Drake and Kendrick beef this, mm-hmm. this entire month, year, yeah, right? Month, mm-hmm. month, 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 month. We ain't hear nobody say anything in defense of Drake. Nikki ain't say shit for hey, Drake. Nikki hey, ain't say nothing. Say, because, she ain't because, say a because, word. Because, because Nikki feels more personal with this matter. Wayne didn't say anything. I would. No, I agree with that. Thank you. I, Nikki I, feel, I, I agree she with She feels that. like Rock Nation has been blackballing her. So much so that, remember she did the VMAs? She was hosting the VMAs last year? Mm-hmm. Now Meg Thee Stallion is hosting the uh, VMAs. <gasps> Yo, all right. Yo. Come on, man. Yo, I'm, I'm not. I'm not yo, a liar. Stop, yo, stop pointing at me. No, because you've been doing that shit. Yo, because when I see, when I see the thoughts, when Evan music or Rock Nation, he's yeah. like, "Low, what you yeah. got?" I see the thoughts. I'm like, "Yo, so, so Nikki, so Nikki, so, Nikki, so, Nikki, so, Nikki, so Nikki's taking this personally because she feels like Rock Nation and the face of Rock Nation has right. been trying to make another young lady the face of female rap." 
Through manipulation, not through music. So talking about manipulation, if that is her reason, she's standing on a a, a cause for her own self. True. She, it's not for it's not True. for the cause of Fuck Wayne it. or Drake. Drake can take whatever he can get. But that's my thing. It's <laughs> not it. even a Drake thing. This is a Wayne thing. It, oh, it, it, it really okay. isn't. It really isn't. It really, because it's, it's like, adjacent, like, yeah, bro. but like to his point, yeah. if it was a Drake thing. She really would have spoke up in this last three or four months. Nobody has said anything. Not a soul. Literally, we've yeah. been waiting. Not a soul. Not, not a soul. Birdman. Not a soul. Birdman, said, hey. Birdman ain't say shit. And, and I'm not going to front. I'm, <laughs> like, I'm like, yo, fact, Birdman got a Twitter? Yo, I'm not going to front. Low, say, boy. <laughs> that better pipe down. I'm nigga say, hey, yo, yo low. shaking my head. Low. Like, Birdman, what the fuck? Birdman done oh, put it on Miss Gladys. Miss Gladys. <laughs> Y'all better, better act right in here when you talking about Lil Wayne. He done put it on Miss Gladys. I ain't going to tell you niggas again. All right. You don't. You know what's about to happen if he don't put it on RP Miss Gladys, nigga. Put some respect Stop on Stop playing. Him. Yo, shout to Sylvius in Harlem. Uh, put some nah, big shout to Sylvius. Right. Nah, shout to Sylvius. Nah, for real, salute. Yo, yo, nah, for real. Yo, who is that? Niggas don't rate my blood no, pressure. No, because you was talking about fried chicken I enjoyed early. that conversation. Right. Oh, All right, right, man. Like, I'm not even trying. I'm just saying. No, you it, it was real no, quiet. Right. No, you're right. It was so uber quiet over the last few months mm -hmm. when it came to all of this discourse when everybody was out. Oh, yeah. There was, I, no, there was no surge. There, you there said was uber no quiet. Surge. There was no surge. There was no surge. All right. No surge charge at all. <laughs> everybody was quiet. Oh, there, there was it no was surge. good. It was good. I was confused like a late but I got it. There was no surge charge at all. No surge charge. So with the Nicki Minaj thing and the whole thing, and I guess we could kind of put a ball on this conversation well, yeah. just kind of wrap this up yeah i know a lot of people are trying to tie hove into this whole beef with kendrick and drake and all this shit mm -hmm. i personally just think this is big business yeah and we're seeing it unfold i don't know how people feel in their personal lives of course but th it, this is this is a business and i get what you're saying alex i understand no i definitely understand yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but i definitely understand and yeah, this yeah, is like. one of the reasons why me and alex have been able to work so well together without any hiccups and yeah. just having an understanding of each other yeah. because we both see two different sides of the coin but we yeah. understand both sides mm -hmm. too i understand the humanism of is is that a word Most, reggie no I feel like it is. Because you're, you're a journalist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See what uh, I'm saying? I say, I say yes. Human, <laughs> yeah, humanization? Or I, I, I understand the human, human, humanization. I, I understand I that, that, right? The that. genuineness and what it is that you're saying. Like, yo, yeah. you my man. We've been through it. I, I get it. But then Just there's also a part of me where there's a business involved, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And from a business perspective, I think it makes sense. And from what it is that you're saying, I think it makes total sense too. I think we just got to continue to see what this unfolds as. So wait, so wait, Reggie, let me ask you because like, I've just been watching this shit, and I, now I understand like what me and Ebro look like, and what me and Kaz look like, and I'm like, holy fuck! Now I understand what Rosie feels like. Oh shit! I understand what Nadeska feels like. Oh yeah, we're annoying as fuck. How do you how do you deal with this? I love it because and, I and, love, and you don't and you don't drink. I well not, not, never on the show. Oh, I never drink on the like show. Okay. every weekend I brunch. Yeah, okay. But but how, yeah, how do you how do you how do you get through this? I like when they get passionate and like <laughs> I love when they pro say problematic shit and then we clip it because I didn't say it. So. <laughs> But then, but, but the honest mean? truth is though, oh, it ain't my fault. Yeah. No, but like honestly, like I am not even just trying to be the stereotypical, like oh my god, like mm. the moderate. Like I'm not really overtly trying to be that, but I always wind up agreeing, agreeing with both. Like right, I really yeah, see, both you see, sides. Bo you see both sides, and I'm always like, oh, yeah. I see what he, Alex is saying, but Savon, he's yeah, like, he's I, I, that points. naturally becomes my role. I don't try to do it on purpose, yeah. but I don't know. I enjoy sitting in the middle and watching this chaos. Right. No, because Nadeska will look at me and Ebro or Eddie and be like. Are we done? It's Shout like, out to the like, no, yo, no, yo, yo, like, like well, the desk is like big sister, but like the desk would be like, yo, can y'all shut the fuck up? Like, honestly, for the love of God. I also think it would be different if my personality was more like I love to yell, I love to argue, but that's mm. also just naturally not my personality. I'm not about to like force myself to be yeah, like that, you know. Yeah. So I just yeah. I love when they go at it and don't. That's force what like, me like throughout like, the whole time, like I'm like, all right, low, shut up. Like <laughs> no, right, come on, I'm like, come on, Reggie. No, no this get in here, come on, come on, get in here, Reggie. Now she used to the same. Going live. No, nah, yeah, that, I that's like why. It. That's why I had yeah. to ask her. I, yeah, yeah, ask her. I enjoy it. <laughs> Real quick, this is a uh, podcast. We talk about the podcast. Yeah. Did y'all see um, Cam and Mace's reaction to it? And for me, I know what I yeah. when, when I first saw them so, report on it. You ever heard of Imaginary Players? Yes, I did. Clean up on aisle seven. It was yo like so so when 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 Cam and Mace were saying and and one stop <laughs> shut up because I can't hear you laughing through my left like my left ear. <laughs> When um when Cam did that, <laughs> don't you, <laughs> the whole thing roll like all right. Um, so when I when I see Cam and Mace talk about uh, the hating is egregious, and it's just like, oh, bro, like yeah. just how like a lot of people don't know the process and the selection of how things are made. It's just like, bro, like that's not 
y'all have too much of a responsibility before you get on this huge fucking platform that you got about a twenty million deal for twenty million dollar deal for salute to them and just say, yeah and salute to them mm-hmm. and just saying rambunctious shit. It's just like bro, like we've been talking about you know defending Hove and it's not just him the end all be all. It's like come on y'all, y'all have runners for you and people you have producers that can give you information like yeah it's not yeah. just him mm-hmm. and not for nothing and y'all and y'all just coming out the gate and like yeah, yeah sure. you 40 or you're this that and the third and you hating at this big age it's like come on y'all know better and respect that. for you they pick this out right like we know they rock that's what i'm looking they, at I'm we, we, like, know, we know bro, they rock heavily with dane yeah. drake like, like we know i'm that. like bro y'all y'all and, look and crazy and that's that. why i was bringing up the whole pick a side thing full circle when we started this episode it's like yo i don't want to ever be that type of person i want to be able to just view some shit have understand the nuance within it mm-hmm. and just go forward because once you pick a side like you said mm-hmm. i wouldn't be able to hear what the two of y'all are saying right because i would have done picked a side but i'm glad i was open enough to understand where y'all was coming from with that venn diagram right of course i completely understand where y'all coming from it's a full circle that was, no, that was a, <laughs> yeah i get it she was like oh i get it oh they did that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm raising yeah. funny. I'm just saying, Wayne, in it. Raising right. funny. <laughs> no, but yeah, I just, I think, I think with them, with the platform that they have, they should be a little bit more responsible. Because when I woke up Monday and I saw them having that conversation, I'm like, yo, bro, y'all, y'all swayed a lot of people, whether mm-hmm. it's from sports, mm-hmm. culture, music, mm-hmm. the hood niggas. That's a fact. Definitely, you're, 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 y'all are persuading a lot of people. And I think influence. that was, yeah, you have a big, big influence. And I think that was irresponsible for them to be like, yeah, Hove is hating this, that, mm-hmm. and the third. Mm-hmm. Homeboy was just what whole vet, like we said, the fanatic shit. Right. Like, come on, like, don't do that. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's a fact. That's a that's fact. That's all I'm looking oh, at. Oh, and they were upset that they they felt like Jay Z. I want you to speak to this low, even though you're not Hove or Apple or Fanatics or Michael Rubin. Uh, they felt <laughs> like <laughs> they felt like they couldn't get into the fanatics. Yo, how, much, yo, how much time I got? <laughs> how much time? How much time? We got about yeah. five more minutes of this nigga doing this it's shit. Not live. Yo, low. Nah, 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 nah. Yo, low. They said they couldn't get in because of Hove. You believe that? Uh, I mean, I don't know. I went, I was at the Fanatics Fest Friday. Uh, I was with Kaz. Kaz, like oh, I well. said, Kaz was doing the, the panel and everything. Yeah. And I got there and Hove was there. And it was me, Lenny S, Quavo, Travis Scott, Sean Dickerson, who's the ambassador for Ace of Spades. Chase B was DJing. Mm. I'm chilling with Lenny. Like, we right in front of the DJ booth. Hove was upstairs. I think Khaled was there. Wayne. Yeah, no, Wayne wasn't there till Saturday. Okay. I I went Friday. Okay. Uh, Jalen Rose was there. Taylor Rooks. Um, it was a bunch of motherfuckers. So I don't know what. Hey, you gotta pick that up, huh? Hold them names. You better pick that up. <laughs> yo, my fault. Yo, my fault. Name dropping. Name dropping. I, 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 I let you get the first six I, off. Come on, like, 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 twenty more. I'm like, come on, bro. Like, this is why I'm like, yo, like, like right, my fault. Nah, right, right, if y'all really thought of, if y'all fault, really want to know about the shit I've been around, like, hold on, nigga. I'm just trying to get caught. Trying to get context. Trying to get context. Trying to get context, my nigga. This is necessary for me to name drop. It's very necessary. But nah, it was a bunch of motherfuckers in there and. I didn't know um, security wasn't really that difficult, mm. um, but I don't know what Saturday was like. Uh, I didn't I didn't hear anything about Cam and Mays not being able to get in there until they spoke on it. And this has been about three or four weeks already. Mm-hmm. So I don't know right. what that was about, but it was a lot, a lot of people in there. Uh, it was a great, great celebration. You know, they had shrimp and... <laughs> Tacos. And, okay. You got to love shrimp and tacos around. Like right. Lemonade, do say. No, and sh- and no and shrimp and for and all of them, huh? Nah, no lemonade for all of them? Make some bad thoughts. Um, <laughs> I'm joking. Not that's that why weird. I can't be on here. But no, like, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what that was about. That was my first yeah. time hearing about it. So and, I don't know. And, yeah. and so, correct me if I'm wrong, mm. and I could be getting the artist mixed up, but I feel mm. like at the B-Size concert that Hove had a few years ago, didn't him and Cam- Cam was there. Cam was there, right? Yeah, he Cam, Cam and Jim. Right? Oh my God. And Jim, yeah. Cam and Jim, yeah. I think that was, I, I think that was Webster Hall. Yeah. Webster that was, Hall, that was yeah. the one that Raven shot. Full Legendary circle night. moments. Yes. To the other side, I don't, again, I don't have a side in this. What I will yeah. say is there's been a history of Hove having interesting relationships with folks, okay. whether it is they remedy a relationship yeah. or they're at odds. But for some strange reason, Either when they remedy or go, you know, go forward, there's right. still something that is lingering from it, and that's the only reason why I brought up the whole Wayne comparison to human, uh, trying to, you know, get them into that human state. Right. Talking about the diss records and the diss, the disses at each other over the years, right, it right, makes right, right. me think like, is it all because of a grudge? It could be, it could be, and 
It's one of those things that we don't know. The well, last know. that we saw publicly, at least, was at that concert. Mm -hmm. The B side. For me, me. I, I could be wrong. I'm not a fucking thesaurus of this. Like, no. I remember that. But I do know that was fairly recent. <laughs> thesaurus. I'm not, I'm not a fucking thesaurus. You made an encyclopedia? Bro, I would have done shit. They got a thesaurus and encyclopedia. I'm not sitting on the lap so bad. I'm sorry. I'm like, nah, shut up. This is not your show. And then she said it. I'm like, okay. I'm sorry they want me. None of that. I'm not the smart books. Nigga, I ain't Google. I don't she know was like, you mean, she's like, you mean the encyclopedia? I'm like, oh, this nigga. She got technical. This motherfucker's crazy. That's why I got her. I'm not the almanac. 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 I'm just saying, like, you know, we can't keep track of all, like, these historical moments between all of these artists, but I do know the last time that they presented together it yeah. was in unity mm -hmm. you get what i'm saying it was them on stage performing the record and then cam have went on this is before a million dollars uh, i'm sorry excuse me this is before it is, it is what it is, is. Yeah, yeah and it may have even been on a million dollars worth of game but I know Cam had went on some uh, uh, interview spree, mm. and he was talking about how he repaired his relationship with Hove at some point and mm. how they got to that stage. So the last that I heard of a Cam and a Hove conversation or reconciliation, it was in a good light. The last this past week, we see there's a little bit of shade between the two, between the three. I didn't realize that Mace still felt the way towards Hove. And the only reason I say that is because I am going to beg, I am going to implore Mace to write his book because I think Mace would have the greatest single hip hop book in hip hop history. If he wrote whatever it is that he needs to get off of his chest mm. when it comes to all of the ups, the try, like the next generation, the generation under us, mm -hmm. they don't realize who Mace is. Mm -hmm. They see but him on it is what it is. He, all, yeah, he yeah. was in the, mm -hmm. the golden age of rap is what a lot of people consider that time to be. He was oh, yeah, one of the ones. 90, that was 98. He was one of the ones. Yeah, yeah. So for me, when I see him shade Hove and I'm like, wait, hold up, nigga, that's how you feel? But you heard imaginary plays, right? I, of course. That made factory no Wait, you asked, you asked, you asked. Of course. Oh, no, no. No, I was being. No, 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 no. no I thought he looked at I'm, me. He was like, you heard him. Hey, I'm like, if a nigga so ever talked about. Do you know about, why? I talk, I talk about volume no, every night. We know, we know, we know, we know, Lo. We in, know. The corner, we in the corner. Right in the corner, right in the corner. corner, we know. <laughs> we know. Yeah. That's the greatest thing I've ever heard in my life. Yeah. It's what I do every night. I'm just saying, like. Imaginary players was too good. Please, Mace, give us the book. To be talking about me on you know, Yo, you know who really need to give us a book? Lenny S. Yeah. Somebody that was inside that camp yeah. for a lot of versions and errors. Lenny S, like Lenny S or Guru. And when Goof. when Shout out to Guru. when you mm -hmm. sit with when you sit with Lenny, like me and Lenny are very, very close. And Lenny has told me so many stories that I can't really reveal. And right. I know one story Lenny told me. This is when I interviewed him at BT in 2011, or I think, yeah, 2011, 2012. This nigga told me, he was like, yo, first time Pharrell and Hove worked together. This was on Give It To Me, mm -hmm. right? The first single from, and y'all might have heard me try to told this story on Twitter, but the first single from uh, Dynasty 2000 was um, Parking Lot Pippin. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I think they're mastering the album, or it's like the last day, or it's like they're they're close to turning the album in. And this nigga, Lenny, was like, "Yo, I got this, you know, I got this kid from Virginia Beach, Pharrell, da da da." Pulls up, and they start working together, and they may give it to me in about. <laughs> Pharrell made the beat, and I think about eight to thirteen minutes. Five. Yeah. Five. Then Jay hears the record. Does his shit 15 minutes. That's crazy. <laughs> so then I think Lenny calls like Kaiser, and this is that Def Jam at the time. So it was like Kaiser, uh, Julie Greenwald, Kevin mm -hmm. Lyles, Lior. The Avengers. The, Ave the, the Avengers. Avengers. And they like, yo, we got the video ready for Parking Lot Pippin. They shipping the cars out to LA. Lenny don't get mad at me for telling this story. Um, and they hear the record. They like, nope. We going to give it to me. Niggas went to L.A., did that whole big-ass house party with, you know, John Witherspoon, Kim, like, you know, that whole mm -hmm. that whole shit. Yeah. But Parking Lot Pippin was supposed to be the first single from Dynasty 2000 Rock, Rock Life a Million. That's crazy. And Ooh. that was, yeah. But so, yeah, Give It To Me was the first time Pharrell and, and Jay locked in.
And this Hip-hop is, history. And it took this about... Is, this is Lenny S. Lenny dropped the minutes. book, man. Tell Lenny it was, like, it, was, it was about 18 minutes. <laughs> no. They made that record. 18 minutes. It was like 18 this minutes. It's giving campfire again. Yes. Like the story. Yeah. Wait, oh, can I, I just say something? I, I, I got the I got fire. Who also needs to write a book or at least provide the pictures for a hip-hop book is a gentleman by the name of Johnny Nunez. Yes. And, 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 and uh, Jonathan Marin. Uh, Jonathan Marin? Okay, salute to him. John, I, th- that, that, I'm, I hope I'm not screwed up the name, but he shot, uh, I think it was Reasonable Doubt. Mm-hmm. He shot Jay's. These photographers, man, they yeah. see it all because I, I'm a journalist. John, John, Jonathan Manning, I'm sorry. Okay. Yes. Manning. Yes. Yeah, Thank God we got the name right. But yes, I'm a journalist, so I'm on Getty every day, like looking up pictures. Yeah, every every, every picture has these gentlemen's credits on it from yeah. the hip hop era. I yeah. cannot imagine the shit that they have seen. So yeah. Yeah. maybe one day in like Lenny, 10 years. Yeah. Lenny, like, I think Lenny's doing a coffee book or coffee table book. Oh, wow, I'm buying the, that. The pictures that this man has. Like unreleased? Oh, God. He's yo, you gotta think, Lenny's been around Rockefeller. This is like priority records. This <laughs> is not even Rockefeller records. This is priority records. <laughs> Jay has been around these guys. I mean, uh, Lenny's been around these guys since 94, 95, 96. Jesus. So imagine Jay fucking being around Big, being around DMX, being around Ja Rule. Then you get the Rihannas, you get the Kanye's, the LeBrons. Imagine the pictures that Lenny just has sitting on the tuck. Ooh. Can't even imagine. I got chills. Imagine. imagine Can't even shit. imagine. That's legendary shit, right? We need there. the book. Yo, force him to drop the book. Hey, okay, hold on. Force him. No, hey. I'm telling stories I probably shouldn't be telling. Hold on, my guy. That's my Lenny good. That's my birthday too. Nah, yeah, yeah. Lenny's my birthday. How did you know this? Time out. No, I like how he brought that. That's my birthday too. April 16th. Yeah. Oh, he's an Aries. I don't know. You got to know random facts about guy. You got to. No, he knows about other celebrities. Like, what was it like, Akon or something? That's no, my, another one of my twins. How right. do you know? Martin, you know Akon's birthday? Hmm? April sixteenth. <laughs> that's, that's nasty. Work. That's nasty. <laughs> and Martin Lawrence. Lights yeah, that's my. Other, I got good birthday twins. So Martin Lawrence, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Lenny S, mm-hmm. Akon, mm-hmm. Alex. And Alex. What a big four. That's a. Mm-hmm. Big, that's a. <laughs> me, and, me, and Beyonce, me and Beyonce born a day a day apart. That's a something to cherish. I'm, I'm the third. She's the fourth. That's, that's something to cherish. Oh my god, you're a Virgo. Yes, man. I'm not gonna lie. That's, <laughs> that's a man. fire first date bar. First date bar. You got Yo, that you know off. I'm born 24. You got that off. You got that Nah, this is crazy. Yo, there's so much more to talk about. I feel like we we low key. Yeah. No pun intended. We low key. No, you've been you've been doing it all night. He's like, you don't have to say every single time. Wait, can I can I take a bathroom break? Because like, no, I was about to say we 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 was gonna wrap it up. Oh, we're gonna wrap up there. You you coming back, right? Uh yeah of course nigga say with some confidence that nigga said nigga hold on it ain't some Black confidence. History Month yet you right say right, with some not, confidence hold on it's not till February say it again yeah we hope to have you back I, w- I would love to be back oh, oh, sure. oh, 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 I love to be back I love to be back we we, we didn't get a chance to talk about y'all made me feel mad comfortable here I like this shit I didn't have about nineteen glasses of Jameson you're a tourist and I ain't sound stupid yet you sounded good you sounded good no thank you guys sounded good now it's a it was a pleasure to have you bro we appreciate you thank you so much again there was a ton of things that we could have covered I think maybe even next time like I said we can do part two for sure for sure we can do part two I think it was worth it for the Freaking first half to be about him and his stories because I thoroughly enjoyed that. Yeah, I was about history. thank you, Reggie. Thank oh, yeah. you. Appreciate yeah, it for sure. I think I think the the the, the most important conversation was about the discourse about mm-hmm. Wayne uh, and Kendrick yeah. and the Super Bowl and how people feel about it and how it's facilitated mm-hmm. and how it's picked and how it's selected. Um, yeah, even the like conversation him. with Cole and and Drake about how yeah. that yeah. and yeah. Rocky and how that right. moves. But I, you know, yeah, I definitely I do get nervous about these kind of conversations because it's like, oh, they trying to get me. To yeah. say something stupid. No, no, no not, not at all. Not, not We're at all. just very passionate no, about yeah, yeah, the stuff no, we yeah. talk about. I'm about to, yeah. uh, you know, I'm about to go to Hookah Spot and listen to my five uh, f- favorite Meek Mill records. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Mandy B. Man, man, you know, Mandy, I love you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't mean to throw you in the fire, baby, but Shout you know, I love you, baby. That's why now, Mandy, my she nigga. She tripled down though, so I know, she, you know, that's why I got respect. So love him. Yeah. Anybody that's gonna double down, gotta respect. Gotta no, love him. She regretted it. Mandy, I love you, baby. Mandy regretted it. She did. Yeah, me and we talked. That's my. Oh, oh, shit, shit. Man, 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 don't give a fuck. Just stand on that shit, man. It's real niggas in these streets. Seems like she regretted it. No, she, no, she didn't. Man, yeah. it was like, 
Manny yeah. know how to laugh. Manny know yeah. how to say, yeah. Manny she was like commenting back to everybody yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. Bro, she was in everybody's comments. I'm she's like, oh, human. Yeah. Manny don't give a yeah, fuck. She, she's human. And, and she's the nah, gang. And we I appreciate feel. Mandy. I love yeah. Mandy, man. We also Absolutely. appreciate you for pulling up again. It was super last notice. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We sent you what we was going to talk about. You ain't shy away from anything. So thank you for pulling up. Thank you so much. You are now a friend of the show, bro. Absolutely. Whenever y'all need me. Because one of the, I know a lot of podcasts say this shit, and okay. we could be completely honest. We yeah. got almost three hundred episodes. Talk like we do guests, but we do people we fuck with too. Yeah, right. Yeah, like for sure. we don't try to build our podcast off no. of cross collaboration. Oh, let's get there. Like yeah. we gotta fuck with the people we want to talk to. You no, know what I'm saying? And, like yeah, and I and I you know I appreciate you know I've, I've seen a lot of episodes from y'all, and you know I love everybody's contribution on this show. Y'all have a very very unique. The same way me, Kaz, and Rosie, Facts. how we be yelling at each other yeah. and having fun with each other. Like, if I can involve myself in that kind of capacity and then have, you know, Reg over here, like, these motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't do this every week. Nah, but she, she knows her shit. When she pulled up that article, I'm like, oh. She knows her oh, we shit. On her, oh, we on her, oh, we on our shit. I was like, hold on, I have his government name right here. Hold yeah. on. <laughs> she knows her shit. She makes sure of it every week. Nah, yeah, that intro was dope. So, yeah. but no, thank you guys for, you know, allowing me to be on here. And I ain't want to sure. really, I ain't want to tweet it. Cause I ain't know how y'all promote shit. Not a little crazy. But no, I, know, but I can't I, wait till our picture drops. I did, I, I did the I did the IG before we you know before yeah, we recorded. Yeah, but nah. Fine. But thank you. Like my hookah spot's sure. right around the corner. So yeah, I'm gonna go over oh, there. Shit, fine. Oh shit, fire. Nah, sure. but yeah, thank you. Yeah, for sure. Nah, <laughs> thank, thank you, bro. Ridge, Alex, yeah, thank, thank you. Bro. Thank you bro. Amazing bro. performance, love. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. With that being said, it's the Need to Know podcast. It's what you need to know when you need to know on the Need to Know podcast. We appreciate y'all. Like I always say, each and every week, if you made it this far into the episode, there's no reason you aren't subscribed. There's no reason you have it shared. There's no reason that you aren't tapped in with us each and every week. We appreciate you thoroughly. With that being said, we will catch y'all again next week. Peace out, y'all. I'm stealing that. King. I'm stealing that.